was meant to be on Black Panther 2, the movie Black Panther 2. I was meant to be on the soundtrack. The person in charge of the soundtrack of the president of Native Records. Yeah. A week before the song comes out. First of all, I have a problem with one of the other members. Now, a week yeah. before the song comes out, the message is that you're not on the song. Like, I have everything here. We've signed things with Disney. You know, this song is not coming and they want to change you to uh, what's this guy's name? Toby Bigway, the guy from Houston. Okay, okay. And that's now what led to those videos with T.A. Modu and I. Because when he did that video, I'm like, oh, this guy don't join court. Too. This guy don't join gang. This guy won't kill me. So many people came to my house and we were all speaking. And that night, I wanted to kill my own brother. I wanted to kill him because he said he wanted to finish me. Ding, 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 ding. You they kill me mentally, yes, stuff and tenderly. <laughs> bato, bato, bato. Pretty boy. Hey, Anybody with me for? Anyone want? Bro, bro. What? What a? I don't know what to call it. Now. Is it chance? Bro. Is it chance? Intro. I think it was it was it was intro. It was like hype in a way, to be honest. Because I I, I can imagine what was going through at the time because Baba was in the studio with Badu. It was like ah, maybe you don't already said Badu the song. He can't he can't do the intro again. Say Guys. Badu Badu Badu. And my wife make it four. He said respect. <laughs> oh my god! And we are back. Zero conditions podcast is back. Melody is back in the building. Yes, and today on the show, we've got two very, very exciting people that we're going to be talking about. So, yes, yeah, so welcome to the most exciting podcast, period. Number one, period. please. Period. Fuck your chat. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your chat. How are you feeling, pretty boy, Dio and Tempo? Tempo. The most chaotic. Maybe not the most chaotic, but one of the most chaotic people. Like, you're so chaotic that I didn't even know it was you. And he sent me his, I'm like, your handle. I'm like, I know this nigga. He's always causing trouble. I hope I hope we don't have each other blocked. No, we don't. So I had this very funny um um experience where I ran into somebody and they were like, Yeah, you you are you are interested on Twitter, yada yada yada. And I'm like, Yeah, what's your hand? And they give me the hand and I have them blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Like, damn, what did you say? <laughs> but did you guys have the conversation? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like, we had the conversation. It yeah. was calm. Pretty yeah. boy, how many people do you have blocked on your social media? Me. Mm. Did they block well, people that, or did they reply? That was, that was a long time ago. <laughs> 20, 2019. That was the last time you blocked someone. That was the last. Yeah, the Goye way, yeah, yes. That's the last time I blocked anybody on Twitter. I, 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 yes. No, I didn't block anybody. I followed people on Twitter. Oh. After they go here, when? That year. Why? What happened? What was so significant about that year that you were blocking people? Rebranding. Well, it's a funny intro to today. So I'll first start by saying shout out to Mortal and shout out to Melody <laughs> Temple, my guest today. <laughs> well, shout out to two of you. appreciate you bringing me on your Zero Conditions podcast. Being a long time coming, it's like you know? six months late, bro. Bro, for real. I yeah. you. I'll be hotel So sorry, I appreciate. We did. They, appreciate they call us hotel artists, hotel artists, so it's good giving us a voice to speak. But I would say um, that year was... Um, Probably one of my biggest years, and people who I felt very close to me, hmm. they didn't put me on a show they had. They were the organizers of the show, and I felt that they looked down on me by not putting me on that show. They, they, didn't, they looked over me by hmm. not putting me on that show. So that year, I, I followed them <laughs> on Twitter. I you followed them? A lot of people. Not just them, but a lot. Bro, as an artist, artist is a very, very dark, solemn world, you know? It's a very, like, it's a hmm. tunnel vision world. It's like, at that time, at least, when I was younger, you know, I just felt very insulted that my own guys would not put me on the show. Hmm. So I followed people because I felt like... It's Mike. Dear oh, Mike. sorry, sorry. Oh. So I followed people because I felt like if I don't follow them, I don't feel like they owe me anything. So hmm. let me just do my hustle and... You want to say the name of the people that didn't put you on their show? <laughs> Mama, it's a long trajectory because everything <laughs> intertwines into whatever control. I, you know, I'm not... <laughs> she keeps calling Max A. You know, they're off camera. Look at that, people. She keeps calling Max A. But you're Max A. You're literally the reason I, 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 I saw that Ellen. I'm like, I'm never doing this again. No, but that one will be controversy. That's like a business. Oh, do you, do you don't switch the narrative. This guy is sharp. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's, trying, no. he's trying to say that he does not want to, like, I think he's a controversial artist, but you are not. I don't know what you're trying to say. No, no, I'm trying. Yes. No, let me know. You don't think I'm controversial. I don't think okay. you think I'm that. But it's more like. 
I'm not really in a lot of controversies. I don't even really look at that Max A situation as controversy. So the only controversy you know me. I swear, I don't no, You I was, beg. I was waiting for you to say it's not really a controversy. He's not. He's not. He's, uh-uh. he's getting somewhere. Make I love So let him talk like, about the controversy. controversy. Like Max A is like a business now. So that what? one is like a service. And you, you called them out. Because they fucked up my money. Can I say that? Yes. Yeah, uh, uh. Look, sorry, fuck, fuck, sorry. fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck, 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 these guys were playing with my money and at that time that was like my bread and butter how can they see a flight is at eight o'clock and i go to the airport and they tell me the flight left one hour earlier at seven o'clock <laughs> from they go to a matical school in yola i forgot the name ab, ab, american ab yes yeah, to go yeah. and perform this is their end of year party they've paid me big money at that time probably my biggest one you're telling me I'm about, I'm about to miss the show i was so upset and that's why i tweeted what i tweeted yeah but i don't feel that's controversial that's just the truth of what happened in that situation okay. if you get what i'm saying did the company call you why did why they call you they didn't mess up my money i spent so much money just to get to yola and deliver on the show if you see that picture i'm dressed in like outside mark because i was going to yola i've never gone to yola but imagine you as a young artist a big opportunity to go to the north thank you bro to go to the north and perform and this airline is telling you that the flight left an hour earlier Maybe because one uh, sultan or politician went to the airline and you know he must go to his destination. <laughs> You're done enough small people. I don't get that money. I will fight you anyhow I can. And I fought at the checkpoint. And when we got to the destination, what's that destination? I think we flew to ABG. From I got to, I left my house. Like I said, the flight mm-hmm. was eight o'clock. <laughs> I got to the airport seven thirty. Do you know I got to Yola? Four. Twelve a.m. around one what? a.m. What? Yes. Because of Nigeria, how Nigeria is. But like I said, I called out a service. That was not controversial. That's what happened to me. I had to tell you. Wait, where you called him? Was it where you got out of the plane that you recorded? Yes, as I got to Abuja, because I couldn't believe the the disservice and the way they they mm-hmm. acted. I couldn't mm-hmm. believe like, bro, I know be David Do. I'm at that point in my life. That was I think 2018 or 2019. It was 2019. Right? Was 2019. Yeah. yeah, so 2019. I know be David Doe. This is my only hustle. So if any opportunity to perform, I must go there and perform. Because my breakout year was 20... 2018. Yes, you can see. To, to me, it was even 2017. Fair enough. Yeah, and why? Because those days when I... I Chop was, uh-huh. Yes. That was 2018. So I moved back to Nigeria 2015. Everybody mm. used to tell... Is there anybody you meet that give you advice? You must do radio. <laughs> you must do video. You must do interview. You must do concert. You have the advice. Yeah. Everybody will tell you. Don't give me the formula. Yeah. yeah. And 2017 was the year that I actually saw because I had some songs that kind of had like a buzz. Peter Piper, the yeah. footwork was the Peter biggest Piper. one for me at that time. Yeah. And that December, maybe December start. You know how Lagos is December. That shoes. Back to back. Back to back. Stack. That December, I performed from maybe December third to January third. And that might, at least people, even if the song, the song blew, but people knew me. Yes. So I knew the importance of shows. And that's why me missing any show, like a show in Yola, that I've never been to where they are, they, these guys, I don't even know. At that time, I've never, ever even been to Yola. So yeah. I'm thinking that these guys are not their ass. Yeah. I dressed up to go for that. You, to mess up my you dressed up like what that? Ah, bro, I dressed up like, bro, dressed, I'm a hustler. If people don't know I'm a hustler, I dressed no, up no, we know that like not their to go to that place. You don't like, like no no no. Yes no, like no no. Yes, like no. Finland, uh, Bavaria. See, the picture, now you see how they wear yeah. their, their cap and they wear their everything. Yeah. To, to go and pro, to go to go and perform poverty chop people. Oh, oh yes, so, yes. Because so. you have to enjoy this journey. Yeah, young people don't enjoy the journey. You have to enjoy this. Enjoy journey. the journey, right? And they go, you like girls dress like like I be, you know, part of their culture. But like I'm saying, that was just a service. Yeah. That's not controversy. Controversy yeah. is like every day. Yo, you're calling Mike, out someone. As our producer, the message may say, Mike. Sorry, I sorry. No, okay. Alabama, no, Alabama. Um, I feel like that's not controversy. That's just calling oh, out. But that's also, can you tell us about controversy then? Exactly. Controversy <laughs> is like somebody that tries to, I feel, profit of problems, like profit of drama, profit of, you know, profit of things that will cause virality or cause oh, okay. that person being popular. I'm not that kind of person. If you really okay. delve into my things, even the viral videos, you know, it's mostly about my work. You know, it's mostly, it's like I'm crazy about that. Very crazy about that. 
I don't know how to. I've, you I've have a lot it. of personality, bro. A lot of energy. <laughs> and the person that made me a fan of him is I can't even lie. Was Osags, Osaga Alonge. Hmm. Um, so I'd listened to some songs on SoundCloud, I believe. I think it was SoundCloud. Um, but I didn't really get it. I can't lie. Mm-hmm. So when he released your album in 2018, Osags was. I think he hosted the album listening party. Yes. Yeah, or Madrid. Or yeah. moderated or something. <clears throat> and when he came back, I was I told him that I, I don't think it's for me. So he told me that I think when you're on the run, when you're on the run, when you're on your final lap of the run, and as you're about to to stop and take the last walk home, listen to the album. And that's what I did. And when I listened, bro, that shit connected. Hmm. It's fucking crazy. I can't even lie. Connected, like on another level. And <clears throat> then I started to see Chopper for what it was. A lot of people, when they, when they listened to Chopper, I can't lie to you, they were laughing. Mm-hmm. They didn't get it. But mm-hmm. when I listened and I saw what the idea was and what the video was, mm-hmm. I got what the point was. And I was like, oh, wow. Mm. This is great music. And that was when I became a fan. I so shout out to you bro i i think i think you are one of those guys i think you are one of those guys that really do have it and i i hope that your moment comes soon i know it's going to come it's not a, it's not a waste of time um <clears throat> the first the other question is where did you grow up i grew up in nigeria I grew in, up in nigeria what part of nigeria so i grew up in i'll say majority lagos I you grew up in Lagos. I will explain. Majority in Lagos, and okay. I went to high school in Abuja, boarding school in Abuja. But my father was a, is a military man. Was a military man. So my father too. My father too. Navy or army or. Do you want to do that first for soldiers? Soldiers, army. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Army, I went to. <laughs> the boom, 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 boom. Because he's always wow. reminding me when I like, I was fought war. In the war of courage. He the, then time by asked me what uh, he fought war. <laughs> <laughs> Did your father no, fight the civil that, war? I think it's those damn people. Uh, yeah. okay. But that was very like my dad, my father is a naval officer. So yeah. when when I was born, my mother gave birth to me in New Jersey. But she gave birth to me, she came back to Nigeria. So I grew up in Nigeria. And in a way that's even So you have foreign pali? Yes, I do have foreign pali. <laughs> One of my missions is to get my own mother visa or green card to go back there because Shout she gave you, birth to me. They've not allowed that to Ooh. go back there. Shout out to you, so shout out to you, brother. But yeah, my dad, I grew up, I've lived in so many places, but but Lagos was the base because my mother lives in Lagos and I had high school in Abuja. My school was a boarding school and Lagos was the base. But when I was small, my dad was in Sapele because he was a naval officer, so they used to move him around different places. So I lived in a lot of barracks. A lot of barracks. Makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> bro, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. Your, the, the energy makes it. I, I'm, yeah. Am I wrong for saying that? No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> now it's adding up. It makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> the people that did not grow up with like military father, you still have all the energy. Why are you trying to talk to me? Because <laughs> <laughs> you always come for all the smoke. How do you know I didn't grow up with the military dad? What is this guy, guy they come for smoke? Twitter. I just get, I just, temple. I just get up to temple. <laughs> RSVP temple. Uh, that's Bro, that, that's uh, I just get up to temple. No, but I follow you. I know you. I know you. Ah, uh, you, uh, uh, you show me love, sis. But I don't know temple. I have to. No, have to get up. Temple. Boy. Let me show you something. I think you 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 bet me, but like we met on He's the, so the chaotic. Wait, hold on, hold on. Well, you know the Twitter in real life. People in so, Twitter are different. That, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes that's sometimes. Wait, yeah. Some people are the same. Both on. I see a picture of you guys now. I just was doing the uh, yes, no. yes, yes now yes yes now but your friends gone but we just went for that place my brother <laughs> was kid, I said, ah, that day we ah. were dying <laughs> but how do you oh, feel when, when people say that you are chaotic as a do you think you are chaotic how would you describe your personality I know I people a lot of people, a lot of people say no vex, no vex. No, I did with you. a lot of people say. Maybe energetic is the yeah. word I hear a lot of time. I've done an interview. You know, this is like the first ever like podcast. Let me say, I'll say second if we take. There's one I've done, I've, I've ever done yes. before, right? I wouldn't say I'm chaotic. I'll say I'm very energetic. I like to make people laugh. You know, I'm this is for my soul. I'm very energetic about my music. Everything I do is to sell the music. 
Maybe not that Max say one. That's my personality. But things like running, bro, just running. <laughs> so bro, what you do you do for that place? Wait, for that. <laughs> Now nah, you carry the phone with you, bro. I got it. Carry in LA, I'm like, bro, yes, I'm a what very, the, bro. I'll say something. I'm a very like more of a fucking like. Let me get you going. That's I my see. energy because that's the energy and I need. Tia says, bro, whatever that thing that you're saying, mm-hmm. that's him. Oh, but how do you get all the energy? I feel like, you know, honestly, this uh-huh. is my calling to God. Entertainment, be it like music, be it film, and in terms of directing. But this is my calling to God. I went to a school when I was younger, when I was a teenager, where I felt a little bit less of myself because everybody there was so smart. Like, they call <laughs> I swear on God, Loyola Jesuit College, I don't know school, right? Everybody there was so smart, but this is what I loved to do. You know, I couldn't while out there and be the rock star there because these niggas were smarter than me. So when I found this as my calling in uni, oof. what uni was this? I was in America. I, was like, ah, I, had, I went to like three unis. <laughs> I, did, I finished Thank You Jesus. One of my biggest, <laughs> one of my biggest um, wins in my life. I, I finished undergrad. I did finish it. I went to undergrad 2009. Like, 2009. No undergrad is normally four years. years. I left 2015. Damn, bro. In masters, you know, because my, my my story is very crazy. But hmm. I left 2015, and at least I left. You know, I was happy. I, I made it through school. I'm sure your parents were happy too. Hey, God damn it. I left master's. I didn't finish my master's, you know. At that time, me and my father, we were, we were, my dad, our relationship was a military man. See me in my hair like this, like, exactly. you know. So we had a very tumultuous, if that's the word, relationship. <laughs> my mother wanted me to be a doctor like her father. But, because I was, I was actually very good in school. Yeah. When I was in school. Yeah. My mother wanted me to be a doctor, but this, is what I feel God made me for. You know what I'm here talking to you guys about. This is what God made me for. So when I had the opportunity to do this, all the guys who used to flex on me in Loyola that were very smart, this is where I came out to flex. Oh, you I, went to Loyola? Yeah, yeah, on a very flex too. And at that time, I don't know why I just felt, I've seen the game, it's not like that. I had to learn. Mm-hmm. I just felt my work could speak. You know, yeah. my work could speak for itself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I've learned that it's not just about your, your work in this game. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I want to be myself still, you know, to the end. I've been in here for a long time. Yeah. And it's like, whatever I get, I'll get. But this is my work. is what I'll fight for. Not any controversy, not any um, anything, not that. And this is my work. You oh, know? When you say that, you, um, like you said now, you said you've realized that in this industry, then you can say it more. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cooking okay. questions. Okay. Right. <laughs> you, when you said that in this, I have questions for you too. When you oh, said that, go ahead. when you said that in this industry, you've seen that it's not just about you doing the work, uh, which means that you also have to talk about the work. Like you have to say that you do the work. Is that what you mean? Um, or what? Wait, or when you say it's not just about doing the work, what do you mean? Maybe I should start from asking you that. Okay, that's a very good question. I feel like me, the person I am, mm. right? This arts, arts. Art as a form of art yeah. is my life and my passion. But this music is not really about art and passion. It's more of politics, people's campaign. Who are people messing with? Who do people like? Popularity. Please speak into the into the mic. Oh, sorry. I feel like it's more me personally. I feel it's more about like it's more political. It seems to me more political. The mm. superstars they come out of their cars like politicians. The whole streets, everybody they go. <laughs> so it's more. It's more like this is my real. This is my mind telling you like I feel it's very political you mm. know niggas don't know how to play not just your art form you know as what yeah. me i love the art form niggas don't know how to play everything else the politics sales how to be the niger big man the niger thing of success i feel it, it like pr let's call it pr people will tell you some people say like pr like it's not just music it's also like the brand and the personality on a niger level mm. you know popularity who do people like that's why I, t- I told him, bro. I don't think any of my albums is bad. Bro. I don't think you so. Know, like, I, know. I just think I just think Wildlife Wild is my favorite. favorite. I'm Wildfire. Trust me, the way you said it, you know, I not beside the call. Yeah, I get, I get. I feel I if I was a popular guy, people would feel like ah, these albums are all hard. But mm. I don't have that popularity. You know, I've lingered yeah. on my work. So what the work I give to you is what you see. I can come here and tell you that the reason why you think Wildfire is my best is because that's where I had the most money to push it. Mm. You know, I'll, as from the back end, as the person from the back end. At the back end, but the other ones, I've not. I mean, now I've had as much money to push it as much as you saw that one. But my music, all you see is what I do. 
if I'm in the mood now, you don't go, you don't go, you don't go say anything <laughs> because it's me that is the driving factor. I have a team, I have teams like uh, you see team, yeah, like yeah. I have different people, but it's what you see is what I can push, you know. And I'm only a human, you know, if that makes sense. That's why I do other, I can run and I say video, <laughs> maybe this could make someone say, okay, what does this guy do? Let me, let me listen to his music, you know. But yeah, I feel like. Why do you think it's about politics? Like, don't you think it's also about like talent. opportunities? I think talent. I think anybody can have talent. To be mm. Bro, I don't mean politics. So no, like I get what you industry mean. politics. Industry. No, I don't oh, mean, really? I don't mean industry politics. I'm saying okay. that me as yeah. a person, I'm about yeah. the art form, like the work. Mm-hmm. But it's more about how I'm still doing all the other other things. But it's more glitz. Like, how can you come? I, let's call it. I call it politics because of your campaign. Yeah, the campaign of the artist. Yeah, the stronger your campaign, the better. And that's not like every artist work marketing you get. Every artist work to make sure your campaign is strong. It's not like any selective anything Thing like that. It's just more than like me. My personality is very introverted. If that makes sense, I know every artist in this game, but I'm a very introverted person. So people eh? could see these people and come and like, hey, hey, bro, you're introverted as a person. As a that's that's as in <laughs> as a person. I'm telling you, like what you see is my work, but as a person, I don't push my boundaries. You know, they, those days they used to say farms in and oh. you know, and I feel in this game you have to be very social and very loud. That's yep. if I was that maybe not very social and very loud, though. Dear. No, I agree. Not very, everybody. I, mean, I, agree, I, with agree. I, I agree. I agree. I agree with him. Maybe not very social and very loud, just be in the right places. That, but really that's social. Mm, okay, fair enough. That's social. Let Less me... to some people, they don't even want to be anywhere. Yeah. That's yeah. True. Now, what I'm saying is this: someone like me, I can be anywhere, everywhere. I know everybody. Yeah. But now, being in that everywhere, are you the kind of person where you're in that everywhere? You're with your people, or you're mm. going to go out telling everybody, "Hey, broski." <laughs> Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So your I'm not that is kind not very of. High. Your social because, battery is not very very strong. No, my social battery is high, but I feel this game, what may have noticed over the years is the more expressive people who light cameras look at more. <laughs> you know, if you go out and you're like yourself and calm, like even if you know everybody, like now me, you only see me shouting for like maybe a Fino or, or Lamy Day because or other people, files, people who have helped me in different small, small ways that you might not even know in the big scale. Yeah. You see me shouting for them. But every other person. Can you guys pick up deal? Are you guys listen? Okay, sorry. Bro. Yeah, sorry. Um, you only see me shouting for the people who are um, who have literally helped me. Yeah. You know, out of my in my position. But if it's someone who I just know, I'll be like, ah, if I see you, if you respect, I respect. If it's dab, I'll dab. You know. But yeah. as that, I'm very like quiet. So you your know? energy is natural. Whatever you see is is what you get. Like, but a lot of people <laughs> think you are you are always hyper. Yeah. Uh, they feel that that's good, but I'm myself because what they feel I'm hyper about, I feel is promotion things, mm, marketing. <laughs> you understand? Mm. But I know hyper. You know, like I feel like when we were talking in the beginning, two bees go to scatter this. Back. Come on, scatter this mic, scatter this body, scatter, scatter, scatter. I'm scatter, a big scatter. man. <laughs> my security is a big man. If I come, my niggas all of them get gone. Ah. Chaos. No, I'm be for real. If you want to, you say, you say I be American. Now. Tell him I pull up. I don't <laughs> even <laughs> pull up. Even so I'm saying real life. Even I pull up. Oh my man, ready. But you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But bro, I I sacrificed a lot. Wait, so that was real life? What you were talking about? Hmm. Pull up. Which one? Pull up. Yeah, pull up. Pull up is very. Real. <laughs> pull up is real. There's no music I've sang that's not real. To sub shoot out to shame on you. There's nothing I've sang. My music. I don't play with my music. So you really have guys that. I bro, that's the reason why the last time I was in beef, I did not do the beef because they wanted to take over the whole. You know, like if me as a person, like mm-hmm. I keep saying, this is my calling: music, entertainment, film. I've even seen that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Give me maybe I'm here because I must get what I've put in. I'm not gonna lie. I must get what I put. I know what I deserve. So that's why I'm here. But my future calling, maybe five, six years, I'll be a director. Watch my videos. They look. There's no video you can put to my video that's even the only reason why i, even, I feel like i have traction i mm. think it's very different Difference, yes you understand yeah. but this is my calling if we're going to play the game of gangsterism <laughs> and fraternity <laughs> and all those things that's not my calling you understand yeah. but bro look at me i know people like my brothers would be before somebody should lay a hand on me they will kill you i'm just no i don't <laughs> Mostly, I don't you know, mean you know, as, you're, as you're talking, I'm looking at your security line. Ah. 
Can you pull up? This guy, this guy. No, I'm just trying to see. Hey, I'm this. You're checking if he's trapped or not. No, I don't know. This is the deal. This is late night TV. That's why we're enjoying TV. That's why we're enjoying. What I mean is, this is like me. If anything, never any decision that comes to my hand, I'm gonna think more of you know, music is driving me. My passion is driving me. But any time where anything gets so crazy and like I have to involve anybody where they behind me. I'd rather not, you know, I'd rather like any controversy, any problem, we handle it like one-on-one fights than mm. we I call those people because they're not going to think like me. You know, they've not sacrificed what I've sacrificed to be in a musical position to try and achieve your dreams. They want, you know, um, smoke. 247. So, but have you ever been in any situation where you actually needed to yarn somebody? That I, was, I was in a situation, yes, and I did. And when that situation happened, it met, I met a line where I had to choose who am I? What am I? Am I a musician? Am I a gangster? Yeah. Mm. You understand? And I have to choose what I've put in years of my life into. Mm. That's me. As if I'm telling you as myself. Mm. And I even have to advise the other person, bro, people don't know you for gangsterism. They know you for music. You understand? I don't even feel you're a gangster to that level of the people who wait mm. this game where you want for the lungu. You understand? This yeah, game where they try to play. <clears throat> So let's just calm ourselves down. Let's not disturb the industry. Let's focus on our music. The reason why I came here. If that makes sense. So, so Melody, sorry, let me ask you a question. Yes, please. please. Uh, we are going to get to that conversation, but you know how do you know? Uh, of course. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> how do you know? Um, how do you know some of these guys? Are they Nigerians or are they in America? I know a lot of people. I know a lot of Nigeria, America. I'm talking niggas that can pull up here with like. Shit, that Nigeria, boy is about Wale Pelu Bullet. I feel the kind of music, even before the music I made, even like just to be an artist in this country, not be every artist where their music they pay them. I'm not gonna lie to you, just to be an artist in this country, not be every artist where their music where they pay them. The people who put me on, they don't live the kind of life I lived. Even mm. if now they've changed and everything, music has changed all of us and everything, but they don't live the kind of life I've lived. You can check the last problem I was in the spaces, one of my guys. Came on spaces and was, <laughs> was talking, was talking a lot of stuff, and I had to call him begging me, bro, please calm down. Calm, this is not Niger we did. This is no be America. This is no be. So anything. this person is American. He's Nigerian American. Okay. Does he live in Nigeria? I'm more of America, but he's Nigerian from the east, from the east. But what I'm trying to say is just that <laughs> if he's ever, bro, I'm a musician, you know, like in the Bible, King, what's his name, Solomon or David, mm-hmm. David. people, musicians used to come and perform help. to him. I know too many. People, people who, you know, put their hand out for me if they need be. But if ever my moral compass and what they say to you, they came to you, what is your direction? Depending on the person, my focus is my music, you know, unless you want to kill me. <laughs> my focus is my music, so I'll chase my music at all times. And someone who is always ready to pull up and someone who has <laughs> demand them to pull up. Dio didn't answer that question, though, Melody. Which one did you ask? I said, <clears throat> most of these your guys, are they, are they Nigerians based in Nigeria I did, I or said, are they Americans? said the Nigerian Nigeria, American. Nigerian, some are based in America, okay. some are yeah. United. Yeah. You did. A know. lot are Nigerian, too. Yeah. You did, you said. A lot of Nigerian, too. With but your voice because of... hear the music I make now. Let me really sing pull up, but they she. Not that you think they go here <laughs> with. Like, the kind of music I sing. <laughs> That's my driving The song. kind of people who go come heal me, my old G's. Well, <laughs> Jesus, I don't be like the normal niggas where you know they could be trap trap dealers, they could be scammers. Cause I sing about reality. I don't come here singing. Everybody, they go to school with their lawyers and my bankers. You know, <laughs> poverty chop people. You get what I'm saying? I sing about the, the hunger. You sing about real life, bro. Real shit. Yeah. Are you hungry though? Very hungry. It's not, 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 not. You think you are privileged? Huh. My story is so deep because I feel like Nigeria. We mistake the definition of privilege. I feel it's not. It's not. It's not. I'm not coming right. to you next. <laughs> I will explain what I'm, I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm very privileged in my mm-hmm. upbringing. Mm-hmm. What's okay. that? Very privileged in my upbringing. But Why does it sound like you're waiting for him to say no so you I can? Ah, ah, it's one, one cook up. Are they wait? No, no, they won't cook up. That's a good answer. You won't yes, cook yes, you. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. No, I thought, I thought maybe you wanted to give us that story. I, I, rem- story. I remember when. Don't remember now. No, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I remember you were not. Mama, let me learn. Let me let me learn. Let me learn. Let me learn. I have lived a very privileged, especially to the masses of the country. I live a very privileged life. Mm-hmm. Understand? But guess what? Me, they used to call me NFA. No future ambition. You know what NFA is? Yeah, no future ambition. No, NFA. no future, no future ambition. ambition. No future ambition, right? I went to a school where everybody there did this smart as fuck. 
Yeah. My parents used to look at me like, what, do, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're Were they not, married? They are not even married. But even when I was married, to my, both my, my father and my mother, very, they have done so much to be examples in my life. Do you understand so what path look, you were They're looking at the people I went to school with, and they're looking at me like, what, guy, what are you doing? My father and I, just almost seven years, we did not talk. I have a song on my first album, 2018, Rabba Man. Yeah. I said, even when I was not talking to my pops, I said it on wax. Almost seven years, because this one is a naval man. You want to do music. What is music? I paid your child. Your, your, your not to go be pity your head. Do music. My, like mother, my mother seen like my... <laughs> and all those excursions. My mother seen my, my best friends being in like Wall Street or something. I said, fam, my mother stopped paying my school fees. This was in 20, 2011. Stop paying my school fees. Now, I'm saying like, I was in America then, do I went to college in America. I went to high school in Nigeria, primary school in Nigeria, high school in America. But that was the first time in my own life I've ever been felt like, I felt like I'm an adult. So like, bro, move. What are you doing? No pocket money, no this thing, because I was not doing well in school, you know? Hmm. My, all my friends then, <laughs> if you go to a place where everybody's smart, you're going to feel hmm. like you're not even a human being, like you'll be NFA. What, what are you doing with your life? Why were you NFA though? Because I was not going to class. What did you consign me with books? See me, this, I said this was what I was called for. In Loyola J Suite? No, in Loyola. I got in uni. Loyola, in uni. <laughs> in uni, every day, I did YouTube, I did watch music, movie. Not, I was not going to party. Oh. I just did YouTube, I did watch music, movie, music, 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 music. Bro, I had to be this thing. And at that time, I used to dress very good. So I'm like, oh, the people where they dress good, I don't really know what they saw. But this music thing, I, I can't even lie to you. When I went to uni, David Doe went to uni in Atlanta. Me and him we used to talk <clears> by blow. <throat> I'll never forget, like, this guy started popping off in music and I was like, bro, okay. And it's a this stuff here, if you Google me and see my earlier stories, you see I used to say all these things. It's a Rocky came in 2011. This was like one of my worst times in school. We so hey, Jesus, this boy swag, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he was swag for me. That was not good. 2011, he had just dropped, he had just dropped that, that album the, the that had... It was a mixtape. No, 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 no. This guy, this guy, it was a mixtape. It was a mixtape. It was yeah, a mixtape. Mix uh, whatever. <laughs> Lord, 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 live Asap. You guys know. Yes, Lord, You guys Lord, know, right? Yeah. And I was looking at this nigga like... He, he came because I was in school in New York. I was in upstate New York. Yeah. And this guy was in... I was from Harlem, New York City. So much swag, bro. Like, this is like, everyone of us look up to Kanye. And Tom Black came up too. I'm yeah. being real with you. Tom Black came up too. And I'm looking at this guy like, do you, this is how you dress now. Why you never blow? <laughs> no, at that time I'm in uni. Okay. I'm not even okay. doing well in uni. At this time, I've, they kicked me out of my first uni. I was suspended and I'm now in community college. God, my pussy has said, fuck you. Like, my pussy in the military. My... Bro, that's what I tried to say. Like, me, I be man. Forget privilege. What about the people who are men? In this, within this privilege. There's so many, yeah. so many niggas. I live with this privilege. My papa don't be your your father. Do you understand what Levels I'm saying? Day. When yeah. people say privilege, 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 I come from a middle class home. But guess what? People, the things I've seen in this life, I can never come and say I was not privileged. I was given an opportunity to be maybe a president in Goldman Sachs. But I feel the great God configured my brain was for this music and yeah. entertainment. That's what me, I personally Fair feel. Enough. But 2011, when uh, Flacco came, I used to dress so good. I used to play, sometimes play rap because I've always watched music from when I was young. I even used to write a lot of poems. But when Issa Brocky came out, his name was Pretty Boy Flacco. Yeah. When he came out, I'm like, Lord Flacco. I must enter this music thing somehow, some way. And I started rapping. And from there, I started music. And at that time, I didn't even, I'm not going to play God. If you come from Loyola, I thought I was a failure. Hmm. Fam, like, which one be success? Like, which one be. Good things. Oh my guys, that straight A student. Hmm. Understand? So when I started this music and I saw, okay, ah, guy, you can, you can rap. Oh. Ah, guy, this one is like you can work hard on this. You sleepless nights. No, um, you need, you know, be sleepless nights. This one, you're doing sleepless nights. You're writing raps. You never know you're doing sleepless nights. Hmm. So I chose the Omo. You see that NFA? They used to call me. They can't call me that NFA anymore in this field. And that's the same energy that you see in this running and all these things because the hunger i feel like me i feel my imagery is so big but if you know everything i do is just me and my little thing but we look so big because of the, the noise. energy and the come with when you say that sorry Tony, yeah, no when problem. you say that because of so I, I i i see how your experiences as a young person in secondary school your experiences with your parents I see how all of that has shaped who you are as a person, has shaped how you experience 
how you I'm speak. Gonna, I'm gonna lie. That was like the first part of my career. So much has yeah. happened. A lot yeah. of hours. There is questions you guys are asking me. That is not like, making you. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I now feel like in this conversation where you're talking about how being in secondary school and having all of those people say, oh, being NFA, and you come now to now go into your career and I say that nobody must call you NFA or make you feel like you're not doing enough. Do you feel like sometimes when you react to present conversations now in 2024? Or in 2023 or in 2022 when people are maybe disre- disrespecting you or having conversations about you and saying that oh uh, pretty boy do you never blow or pretty boy know. do you feel like that the way you felt back then the hunger school, and the way to do prove you feel that, that, that affects the how you react to it now and how you take it seriously when people do you feel like you're undervalued and that conversation puts you in a headspace where you have to ah, respond aggressively i feel i feel very Yo, mike if mike dear sorry if it's undervalued that one I, I feel but the thing is this that chapter mm-hmm. i'm gonna be like maybe four chapters this is a whole other chapter that was the, the questions you're asking of privilege yeah, and all yeah, this. Yeah. That has Breast to do that. with when I started. Yeah. Something like what you're saying for this one. That in me, my, own, my brain, that's a whole other chapter. Because at first when I started music, it was more about to prove to my parents. people. At that time, parents, I even used to hide it from them. You know, they just used to... I felt more than anything because of the peers I had, my students, right? Mm. But over time, I felt I now felt accepted. Mm. Now, after that, I'll say the majority journey I've been on, like what you're asking me, is now to prove I'm good enough, like I'm better than this. I feel like a lot of light was shown to people, be it or tear music, be it all of us who are different. And I never really got that light. But I'm not kind of person how I'm built. You can check my Twitter, you can check a lot of things. I never come out to say, hey, you people don't know, it's me. I've never said that. Because I believe that when the time is right, the power of my work will speak yeah. for me, if that yeah. makes sense. But that has been the majority battle now. That's a whole new chapter. You were mm. talking about David the other time. Yeah. So, how, what, when was the first time you met David? And how, what was the rapport and the relationship like when you met him? Obio. 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 I'll say. Um, I knew him because I entered uni. And when I entered uni, he used to post on Facebook. I was on Facebook. As an artist or a producer? Him. Artist. b Red Radio and Music. Yeah. But he used to post on Facebook. And I remember like, Copy had a show. Yeah, shout when out to I, Jacob. When I was in um, uni. Wow. Not when I was even in uni. When I was in high school. Copy. To uni. Yeah, DJ Copy. DJ Copy has always loved music. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I can't this public. But DJ Copy has always loved music. She had a show at that time, and that's the first time David Doe performed. And a lot of DRB at that time performed. A lot of. You know, I know she time, used to produce DRB. In she the used to days. produce, right? You know, yeah. this thing is also about what's cool. Yeah. At that time, being a young person, that was what was yeah. cool. Yeah. So she had a show, and I remember David Doe performed. With the DRB guys in Lagos or in, in the. Yeah, in, in Lagos. Lagos. You're in Lagos. Lagos. Right, cool. But I was a Lagos guy, you. Okay. I was like, I remember I was born in Yankee, but I came back to Niger. Then after that, um, I went to uni in okay. America. So I think maybe this was a holiday in uni or I was in Lagos. I copy did a show. This was like one of the first at that time of us young people. Yeah. Because David and I were around the same Yeah. Age. So in that show, David performed. So that's the first time I ever knew him. Okay. So when I got to uni in America, he was in Atlanta in uni. So he used to post a lot of his music stuff. So he started following him. That's when I now knew who he was. I didn't even know. At that time, I'm not looking at him like David I just know this guy in Atlanta that's making music. And I remember one song was Chukubam, Bam, Him and Bewe. That song was yeah. so hard to me. Yeah. You know, because I always loved music, but I always just used to follow his stuff. Yeah. And before you know, that was like, oh, nine. He, just before, or maybe even uh, that one we need to see. Back just when, before back when. Just before back when. No, this one, I even think back when I did. Had come out, okay. And he saw me in um, Liquid, former Rehab. I don't know if that club has had so many names. Yeah. Liquid Rehab. <laughs> I think it was Rehab they called it. When he saw me, he even shook me because we used to talk by DMs. So I always was, knew. Was, was Liquid in ATL or in. in no, like, 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 Lagos. Oh, 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 oh. Rehab. Oh, rehab. Rehab. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I only went to ATL once. Head is. I don't know if I've never even. Oh, my God. Yeah, this was in Lagos. Rehab. Re- rehab, I think, was the first name. Name, yeah. When the pool was still there those days in the middle but obio i remember him this was before obio and he saw me and he shook me and that that's been his nature till today that's the kind of person he is yeah just because we used to talk 
on the he on Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook. He knew me like this one. Oh. I feel like it was more. Oh, yeah. of, it was more of like at that time he was hustling to bro. That nigga is a is a star. Like my favorite artist is Bonner Boy, but in terms of hustle, Obio. That's why I was saying that that you like that time hustle. Like I'm a very um, see I said chapters. Mm. I'm a very like I be sequence my things. In terms of music, Bonner Boy is my number one guy. nigga. If it's Pangolo and jam music, busy. But if it's hustle, Obio. That is the that yeah. now is now is the different time. But well, his hustle has paid so much. Where he doesn't need to hustle. The so hustle much. is still why he's here, bro. I know. It's, it's funny ah. to hear someone like Pretty Boy G saying it. Say, so you just gave like some context, just randomly. You know, you're not even trying to give context, but you, but you give context. It, yeah, yeah. Because now you're referencing knowing the video from Facebook before he even blew up, mm-hmm. and making reference to how much hustle he has put in. No, when people talk about David, they don't necessarily see the hustle. They A lot of people want to believe like, that it's because his father that is rich, just, but that's not why. But he has no, actually no, really no, hustled. That's no. really not why. Yeah. 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 That's, that's hustled really not why. And even mentioning that big three and saying this guy really hustled. I would let, like let me tell you something like when 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 social media you know in Nigeria just started being a thing and yeah. and I got on I don't know if you remember Eskimi yeah I remember Eskimi so that, got, that um, chat chat website bro I got on Eskimi and then I was oh, no, behind this it. one babe I never met her before but I just you know got into the idea oh of, my god you don't hold on. of, of <laughs> Eskimi nigga relax I just don't Blast, know Eskimi, this year, nigga. Huh? <laughs> Eskimi is you don't old. know Eskimi. I don't think you know Eskimi. Eskimi is old. I'm just saying for the Do you know MySpace? I know MySpace. Yeah. You, don't know, you, know, you know MySpace, but you don't know MySpace. Mm, I do. Yeah, I do. Do you ever have a MySpace account? So so long, so, <laughs> so here's the thing, right? I, don't know what to I just do. got into the the entire concept of like texting people that you don't really know. And then I was texting this one babe, and then, and she asked me, well, where do you live? I said, I say in Lagos, Nigeria. I said, oh, do you know David Doe? I was like, out of nowhere, like, who the hell is that? And then she said, nah, you have to listen to this guy apparently she said she was where was she she came back to lagos on holiday for something and they would have met her somewhere at the mall he was with his she said she described said he was with his light skin cousins is bro i'm talking 2008 2009 Nine, ten. time right Whoa. and it was with light skin cousins, light skin cousins and he saw her at the mall and then he said oh i don't know you but i need to play you something <laughs> bro that's what he was doing random bro, he, live. I'm telling you, like, so, like no, don't, don't, let, let this in rehab when that time this thing i'm telling you when mm. i saw him and he shook my hand it was almost like he was shaking my hand like i'm a star you better shake my hand. <laughs> You better shake this hand, nigga, before I blow the fuck up. I'm telling you, like, the way this boy, because we're like the same age. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. this was real where the guys who are in charge of that club was Shei Tinubu and that light skinned guy. That, I don't yeah. remember his name. But the guys in charge were older than us. But yeah. the way this guy shook my hand, like, boy, you better you better know I'm going to be a star. And I'm telling you. We're like, about I, to be Nobu. Is it Nobu? Is it, no, I think no. it was, was, was Asha's older cousin. What's Asha's older cousin? Asha. 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 Uh, well, it was not Obi Asika that was that It was another one light skinned fire boy that time. Okay, okay. OG. OG. But Obi <laughs> shook my hand like, bro. <laughs> like he was smiling, but it was like, hmm. ah, do you? Yeah, like I know this nigga. The like, energy told you what you needed to do. Bro, it's like, bro, I'm not going to lie. Like I keep saying, Weezy born on music. Obi on Osu. I'm using a Naija, that Pangolo music. That's really yeah, bullshit. Like me, I'm a Bonner fan before even. That anything. makes sense. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah. I'll give, tell you my own honest. Like yeah. David Do, I looked up to him for hustle. Like yeah. how to hustle. I want to say no to any opportunity. Every opportunity can change your life. Yeah. Any opportunity can change your life. Just to add a little story. When I interviewed Mode 9 for the anniversary of Da Vinci Mode in 2020, and Mode 9 told me that. So Da Vinci Mode came out in 2010. Mode 9 said, David, you know David was a producer. David was meant to produce on DaVinci Mode in 2010. Mm. In 2010. Or oh, 2009. Something like that. Mode 9 knew his uncle. Mm. And his uncle took him and said, and David, David met Mode 9 and said, Oh, Mode 9, ah, blah, blah, blah. I want to produce for you. I've always been looking for you. He gave him a beat. The beat ended up not making the album. But Mode 9 wanted to have an MI verse on it. So laptop crashed. I'm just underlining how much hustle also, culture. Yeah. yeah. See, it's not nothing no, nobody guy, succeeds it's it's never a coincidence the guy something. is never resting hmm? he is never resting this yeah, this to. this babe told me she has never like that the guy seemed 
well to do, he seemed well spoken. So she even gave him audience in the mall at the time. But this guy just wanted to play songs like, like yeah, take earphones, don't worry, you don't need to listen to it on last speaker. Like I got here. So take guy. earphones. Exactly. And it was actually insane. Dio, you were talking about like this thing the other time, um, industry and everything. You, you still identify as an auto artist? Um, yes, I'll say because my music. <laughs> you know you, no, 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 it's, 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 I don't understand. Is no, it, do you identify? Is it identification? He's an instigator. He's no, not. I don't, 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 I I feel um, I'm alternative, but I'm not even alternative because in my own definition, as being part of the group, the alternative sound and my own sound, my sound was too Nigerian to the alternative sound. So at that, this is like 2019, I was calling my sound Kote. You know? Kote. I know. Kote. <laughs> you need to understand. Afro Kote. I remember, I remember that shit. You remember, right? Yeah. I'm going to go to the concert with Scott last week. Bro. That's when they started saying, maybe, maybe. Not really, no. I don't know. Afro Kote started with you. At you. Yeah. But it was more with Kote. I remember the story we used to say. Cult conversation started with, with you. you. Wait, wait, guys, wait, wait. That cult, wait, let's just start with like this, please. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let's know how this thing go, brother. Let's, let's, um, let's separate it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With me, I never used to see courtism. Not you. Not so you. the day that the video for them going here, when I think it's pull up we're talking about. Pull up. It was pull up. that video for pull up came out. No, no, no. It, when the video came out, that was the day the, the, I heard Afro for the first time first in my time life. Time on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. So in my, it in my whole you. life. It wasn't you. It wasn't. It wasn't you. It wasn't you. I felt. I felt at that time why they were saying Afro was because they they used to say my music was like. You drink in a more completed building with yes, yes. Yes. because you also class. shot the video like that. We cut yes, yes, yes. yes. But at that time, Santi was not even caught his in. Ah. But you said that for breaking bottles, cutlass and shit, God. bro. Wait, wait. Let me explain. Yeah, explain. Let me explain. <laughs> tell us, tell us the story. <laughs> if it's courtism, like court, the word court, where mm. I used to see that, like ah, this is courtism. This is mm. what are these people doing? Santi's music videos. Why a lot of Fair that's enough. what I used to see. And yeah, then, yeah. me yeah. and Satina, yeah. yes, now me and Sa- exactly, yeah. Rodina. Rodina was a exactly. Crazy yeah. Yeah. We'll come to it. Then me and Santina had a, a song together, yeah. yeah, and people were now like, call, 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 call. Yes. But before that, before that video, that was 28. Okay, now, I hear you. 2018 was, was when Mandy had the I hear the clarification. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. But before, yeah, before that, me, they yeah. used to attribute me when I dropped my album was like, I'm drinking Guinness in an uncompleted yeah, building. Yes. Yes. Last. They never used to say cultism. I hear you. Understand? And this cultism you. thing, Santi, me, were directors. Whether you, I don't know if you know that, but why we direct the videos. I know, the I videos. Know. I know that. Like me now, a calling of mine to my country. Maybe calling of mine for my personal self, because in God put me on this earth, is to entertain people, be a musician. Well, I must direct a horror movie. Do you understand? Santi gave you guys in a raw dinner. Was it raw? No, raw dinner was raw dinner. That one with Shubi do be do be do. No, no, no. That one was even okay. Raw dinner was raw dinner was a horror movie. Raw dinner was a horror movie. The first one, that one with them bridge. If you guys remember, when he did freaky, freaky was not even dark though. Ah, people said it was called too freaky. And he did the. If you check that thing, let me say one more thing. I tell people we have one of the. See, I tell in my opinion in terms of like. Artist branding, we are one of the best. I agree. Yes. Santi did a end of the weekend yeah, promo. I remember. Yeah, as part of our um, when they're yeah, selling them yeah, Hollywood yeah. movies. Yes. For the branding of that video, yeah. showing you that he's doing a Nollywood horror culture. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Nollywood horror. This they try to scare you. Yes, to scare you, not be black where they go, where to scare yeah. you. Yeah. This has nothing to do with cult. Yeah. Santi is like, it's not, it's not really str- it's I'll tell you from the fact, this nigga's not a street nigga. It's not, what yeah, yeah. be cult with Santi? He's showing you artistic <laughs> Santi had the crazy cult, he's not a cult boy. Thank you. you. <laughs> he's showing you art, but the world is taking yeah. it as cult. Well, this is high art. You know, that, you're taking that, as- that narrative sold the music. Exactly. Maybe that's why he will not, and I can't lie, these niggas are probably one of the most vocal of, niggas of them. Of them, And yeah. I'm still not even that vocal. As I should be, if I'm being real with myself. Because Santi gave you guys a very blessed horror I hear um, rollout. Yeah. Yeah. Now, my own was with pull up was like, bro, well, whether you like it or not, I might not be from the street, street. Like I said, I have a middle yeah. class upbringing. My, my, my you grew up in a You kind of are if you yeah. have shooters, nigga. 
<laughs> in American terms, but in Nigerian okay, terms, they could look at me like say that yeah, 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 this thing, yeah. but and my energy, you know, like I wish it was a nigga from the streets that had the energy, but God gave it to me. I'm like, hey, yeah. God, sorry guys. <laughs> God gave it to me and I'm not from the street. And I had to, you know, pull up. We had to give that energy. 100,000. 100,000. That's why that video came out like that. It's not cult. It's not anything. But those niggas like, guys, sorry to cut the show, my bro. We're about to go on a break. Uh, melody. It's a melody for me. Shut up. <laughs> um, guys, we're about to go on a break. Whatever you miss, conversations are going on while the break is on. Whatever you miss is out on all streaming platforms, on DSPs, on YouTube, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. Yep. Including Audio Mac and Boomplay. Our podcasts are there. You can listen every Monday. It's out before you wake up, usually, to be honest. You get it and this episode was still brought to you by Shivers Rigo. Our brand sponsorship, um, principal idea is Drake Shivers. Yes, we got That's temple in the building. building. We got temple in the building. Even though he's not giving us chaos. Gang but. shit. We need to organize. Well, I think it's because there's cameras here. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Because, you know, a lot of people that actually go off on Twitter can't go off in real life. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. He can go off. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. so a lot of times, a lot of times, when people say, oh, like, this guy is chaotic. Let me not lie. I just have ADHD and I tell you my mind, like, all of the time. Right. Mm. I live in a gated community. <laughs> <laughs> I live, I, like I, live, I live in a gated community. Yeah, I, gated community I keep pets. Me. Like, I don't remember I, the last I time I heard noodles. the sound of a gen. That kind of thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 back cliff, bro. <laughs> I, I eat noodles. Bro. <laughs> Jokes, nigga. Do you understand? I eat noodles. So don't worry so I'm about just here, it. Like, I'm just telling you, like, I don't think this shit makes sense. And a lot of times people want to, like, promise that it makes sense. But it just actually doesn't make sense. Peter Bajio's security guy is very scary. Yeah. That guy is almost 6'5". Yeah. Because yeah, we're losing side eye. He was sitting down there and he was taller than me. I have to introduce myself when I met him. Oh, so, about far, what's your I name? I find you terrifying. Because that nigga I find was you terrifying. He wasn't laughing. Let me tell you guys something crazy. See, when I went to go perform in Auguste, shout out Dice Isle. Shout out to Dice. Mali, Zlatan, that's what that was 2018. The year they blew. Someone tried to snatch my fucking chain, bro. My BT chain. <laughs> and I, as it's there no more, I have to switch up. I'm sorry, uh-huh. I have to switch up. So what you try to ah you know, okay in this culture snatching chain snatching is not that common. No, it's not that. Yeah, it's yeah. happened to my uncle. Lucky yeah. for him, he Nigeria, found it. And Yaya came on, you know, you know, stood up. Also, Calabar is like ten streets. So if they actually had the person's time, they would find him. They yeah, just beg me like, don't let us find you to <laughs> bring the chain. Yeah. So like, because if you're gonna say something, actually, they learn. Because bro, if uh, when the shit happened to me, it was more like we caught the nigga. You, you caught know? the person? Ah, almost Latin step. Latin, that dude is a dude. What's the one that has? What's the one that has? Um, um, no, no. Um, um, that one with Olami Day. I forgot it. I forgot it. The first one that was over. That person has done cool. Yes. I, I don't know the song, Olami. Well, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember the song. The song that blew. No, the song that blew was Jogo. What with Naramali okay, and no, 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 Lukesh? Keep, keep, they, 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 no, go the forward. No, it's the one did with Zlatan and with Olami Day that blew him that December. Naramali, yeah, that's Naira. Naira or Zlatan. No, Zlatan. I think. Zlatan has a song oh, yes, with, he does. Zlatan has a song he with, does. with Olami Day that blew the fuck out of him. And no, does he? Ima, no, my God, it was Naira that had a song with Olami Day that blew him. No, they they, they, both, had, they both had songs. Guys, I'm telling you, you had a song with Badu. Is it my body? My body. My body. I think no, that's where you're that's Oh, that's my Okun. Wait, wait, wait. Look at Fam, Zata had a song with Badu. That's where him and Naramali began their friendship. They have a song called My Body. Yes, now. No, I think it was that. But what song. year was it? 2017. And now oh, this is oh, that's Latana and, 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 and Olamide. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> that's what blew him. The 2018 <laughs> came. I don't fuck with ah, Zatan is my blood now. I didn't say blood now. Blood now. Because my first album, when I dropped it, he didn't know me. He posted it. You understand? So when I now saw him on my on the tour with Dice, shout out my brother Dice. I love you, brother. We did a tour, everybody came because Dice had just dropped it. Zanko reply your DM or Ah, Zanko they oh for you? Yes. Zanko they reply me, no vex. Zanko reply your DM. You don't know Zanko. I said Zanko they reply me. Reply your DM. Zanko now real one, bro. I know. I don't play with that. I don't want to him. Everywhere I go. Everybody has something to say about Zanku. Zanku, Zanku, <laughs> Zanku, I remember when we were trying to run things and like we invited Zanku, we were like, yo, there's this one song, when you do it, yada, yada, yada. We just give him the load and he was like, okay, cool. 
and this is the reason why he was living him and my brother they used to share an apartment oh at some point right so of course everybody had money my brother went his own way he went his own way and like you know everything started getting better and then my brother called him up and like yeah so i have this one guy i wanted to come that's through. teams yeah teams i want to come through give him a vest hey, um fun fact this is the guy that caused problems in 2020. Um, <laughs> Fun fact. He signed by both teams to Anonymous Music. I'm and whatever playing, problems yeah. you heard me curate, he was a purveyor. Oh my so, God. so as soon as we just told Zanku about Zanku said, say less. It was Bangbala Street in Ikate. Zanku drove there, gave us what, two hours from two hours. We had a verse on one song. And he was about to leave. And he was like, guys, 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 I'll see you later. I'm going Did to you the guys club. pay him? Bruh, how much how much did he ask for? He did not ask for a lot of money. He did not ask for people. No, for he did not even ask for splits. He did not ask for money and not ask for splits. So we're just like, you know, we can't say we will not pay you anything. No, I don't play with Zlatan. Oh, that's no, so cool. he's one of those guys actually. He's ah, like he's, he's like one a of those junior Badu because that's yeah, the way Badu yeah. shows love. He's one of those guys. And I and I feel like he has he's also spoken very fondly about how Olamide paved like showed him love and, at the beginning of his career. So I feel like he's paying it forward. And that's what I'm saying because me I respect Badu. Badu should give me a track and I see the same energy with Zlatan. I have a track with Zlatan, police and thief. Ah. Like Zlatan, if I call him now, he go answer. And that's how much I, I respect him. Speaking of, of Zlatan, one of my favorite verses by you, I think maybe it's still my favorite track by you. I don't know if you remember this track. Kumbe! 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 So, well, that's, uh, that's your that that really is man. Hard. That's 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 hard. Oh my oh, God. God. See, I think I think Strafiti was inside the bag. No, I'm not inside another anima. bag. Oh when he decided that he knew uh, Zanku. Um, uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty bro. Bro. I experienced like, a lot of people. Zlatan's verse. On that, on I mean, that sounds hook on that song. Bro, I will never Nothing. forget your copa allowing no rich man. Mm. I beg, I beg, I beg, bro, bro, bro. Go on, bro. Go on, bro. Go on, bro. The energy was, I'm just like, okay, then yeah. another verse of yours that makes sense is the verse, I think, it was Zilla Oaks. Ogini. 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 Guy. I remember the first time I heard Kombe, I saw it on SoundCloud. Hmm. I sent it to Excel. This was 2019, 2020. <laughs> Except called me like I said, what the fuck was going on last one? <laughs> Such a chaotic song. Bro, <laughs> that was an incredible Brother, song. Mama, that yeah. Yeah. Rescue. Yeah. Yeah. Song. Yeah. Bro, yeah. he said, what? The part where I knew was going to be a problem was where I heard, why are no go be an anima? Look, I said how they found song. Ladies too. and gentlemen, we are back. We are back. Uh, <laughs> this episode is still brought to you by Shivers Rigo. Wow. Everything you missed... Shivas Rigo. Okay. Anything you missed is out on all streaming platforms on Monday. Yeah. You've missed a lot of things. Very fun episodes. We've spoken about Zlatan. We've spoken about Dio. We've been hailing Dio about just a fun superstar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, but I feel like I feel like there's there's something that I want to touch on. Are you shy? No. Touch on oh. all the same things. I want to touch, I want to touch on the concept of like loyalty in the industry because Oof. he the first time that I heard about Pretty boy duo. Mm-hmm. It was ten years that sent me his music. Charles it's like, yeah. did you, and this was a long time ago, years, when I was in my discovering music era. And the melody, I, I'm, I think it was so now, random. Now you don't discover new artists. I, I, didn't, I didn't even discover me. I felt like this. Mm. <laughs> I, want, <laughs> I want to be discovered. <laughs> and he's like, melody, oh, so I heard about you. I heard that you're always putting like guys on. I want to introduce you. Blah, blah, blah. I, think, I think that was the line of the conversation. I'm like, oh my God, who is this guy? And I was playing his music every time. I had never met him. And fast forward to like 2024, seeing I still having conversations with me about pretty boy to you like i'm still working with this guy yeah and that's not something that i see often in the industry as someone who helps someone get a verse do you still work with bad boy teams <laughs> no i don't work with bad boy teams. so what how do you what is that loyalty conversation with you guys in the music industry because I, I i see that a lot it's rare it's even more rare to find artists and teams and managers that stay together for long than it is to find artists and managers 
it's, it's easier to find artists and managers that are not together anymore after a period <coughs> of time, especially when the artists become successful, than it is for you to find artists and managers that stay true together. So why, why have you stuck to Tia and why did you leave your own artist? Okay, so here's the thing. I think... I, th- I think I, I can speak more about myself of and course. like the artist than him and Tinya. I mean, over the surface, you can already tell. Okay, so I think there's an over the surface um, 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 reason. Okay. Right? Dio is the greatest guest that we've done in season two of of mm-hmm. this why? podcast. Do you know why? No, more of times I've spoiled this. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Ah, of my exactly. mind, dude. I watch drinks. so I watch episodes of the podcast and I'm like, these niggas are not drinking this. They're not drinking like, the shit. Drink Including this, this one. Yeah. I've had like two refills. They are still there. Like, bruh, Chivas needs to pay me your check oh. instead. So, <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. So what, what I was going to say? Yeah, what I was going to say? So there was something that struck me with my entire um, my entire rift with you know the artist that I once had like with me and all. Mention his name. His name is Bad Boy Tins, right? So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think what... <laughs> this is... this is <laughs> Okay, so I always hesitate to say this because a lot of times it sounds elitist, mm-hmm. right? But here's the thing. I've discovered that if you have to work with, like, <laughs> new money people, you might have some problems. And this is... So this, you are saying, in essence, you are old money. I'm not saying in essence I'm old money. I'm saying in essence, like I grew up around things that will make money not surprise me. Or change your character. Or change my character or like make me weird. He went to Loyola J Suite and Tinya like also went to really good schools. Yeah. He had like guys who from teenage years, they also went abroad, they came back, they he also money. went abroad, <laughs> came back. But a forty K deal is not going to cause a problem between him and Tinya. Hmm. I agree with you. If 40k deal is not going to cause a problem between him and Tinya. Why do you think so? 50k is not going to co- why? Like we've had numerals. Even bro, past if you calculate so all the flights you've taken to everywhere and everything, you'll be like, you know, 40k is not because if you calculate the flights you've gone, you've taken everywhere, you might think that you, you might have even spent more than that uh-huh. on flights. Hmm. Flights, not even money that used to be the house or anything. Okay. Money so one of the one of the fundamental problems like that I had with Tim's was I feel like, I feel like he was a bit overwhelmed with, you know, the music industry. I know the thing with the music industry, people know that, like, you are with this guy. People know that you are contractually obligated to someone, but they still test you with money. They still tell you, like, bro, if you can't fashy this guy, I'll help you run. And people have sweet mouths. And they have sweet mouths, so they'll run that thing with you. (laughs) The problem is that when the problem comes, nobody's going to be there to say, Ah, like okay, we'll help you solve this thing, and I that's exactly what happened, right? So in my case, I think I had like I was working with someone that he was hugely talented. I let me tell you something, I will never play down bad boy. It seems his talent. He has songs that have never seen the light of day. That are incredible, bro. Incredible songs. Okay, let me, to, to stress that point, this, the the beat that Crayon had his breakout song on, so uh, fine, so fine. Seems originally recorded on it. And it seems this version is as nice as what you heard from Crayon. I take so I take offense to that. You take offense to that. You know and me like, I, I take you offense to that. You're a Crayon stand. <laughs> I'm a Crayon stand. I'm a Crayon stand. So like, fine my, my brother. the song. Hold on, relax. Yeah. Relax, relax. I, I you know me and Tim's have a song like Budweiser. We remix Tony Tetula on my car. I know. Oh, you see, I, I signed off on it. If you see any any of the documents, you see... Who's your ma? Like that's my name. That's my. Oh. That song is high. Yeah, so that's mm. me. Your name is your real name is Ozioma. My middle name is Temple. My first name is Ozioma. So my name on document is Ozioma Egemasi. That's his first name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think you guys could have resolved whatever? I, I, I can't. Was. I can't record. I can't. Okay. So so here's um, the, the problem with with where things went was um, now when money was was, was at the time there was a time when um, I knew that like it was looking like it was going to be shaky. So I was telling him like, yo, please. You are somebody that I have told people outside that, bro, this is my brother and I fucking love this guy, right? I don't want to also fight it publicly, right? That was, that was the first step. He can never deny this because I said this to him and I said this to like some other of his guys that we had problems with at the time hmm. who, funny enough, I'm now cool with. 
right? So I said this to everybody then, like, yeah, see, if there's bigger people bringing money, I did business I mean, at management school, just come we'll upstream, it'll be like there's no fight. I'll not be happy that you're leaving. But, I'll... but if you upstream, and I'm still getting like a trickle down of what, 10, 20, like back to the company that like originally like put money into you. <laughs> Why not? I'm always, I'm a very, very no fight businessman. I, that's literally all I've, all I've done in my life, right? But he didn't even want that either. I, I, it comes back to our original point, new money, right? <laughs> so it, that's the thing. It sounds very, very easy. Was it, was, it, was it the new money part or was it the machinery part? Machinery how? No, was it? I, any... I, I, th- I think they worked hand, hand in glove. I hear you. No, but I think they worked hand in glove. What do you think is a, is a new money thing or is it a character thing? I I, mm. I refuse to believe if that said it loyal, I, I refuse to true, believe that true, true that because you are new money and you're old money, people that are new money are not sh- they don't they move differently when it comes to money. I hear that because me now I can't really speak on both of them because I'm not new okay, money okay, cool. and I'm not old money. <laughs> so I don't even I hear you on that. I hear you on that. So I, I don't have that. the experience of both. I hear you on that. I'm I hear just, you on that. Yes, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm not on any side. I don't know how new money being. I don't have any of the monies. But no, no, I, chum, I think no, I don't know what you are going through there. But I think that is just. I think it's a personality thing. I think it's a person thing because <clears> I would if I don't know Zlatan's upbringing, but I don't think he's new money. That's is not new. You know what? You know what? Now you have a point because because now you have a point. Now you have a point. So so I think it just depends on like perspective. Right? Also, I, I, I might have seen it as 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 like a new men, a new money behavior like for a while. Not just because of teams, right? But because during the period where like, you know, my family was not doing very well and then yeah. my family started doing well, I I'm the first child. Hmm. And I had to start handling money at the very end. Oh, you had the first age. child? Sadly, yeah. So, <laughs> and I had to start handling money. As at the first that I agree, that's quite as sad. At a very early age. So, I, I had started seeing how people behave. When it comes to money. When it comes to money. Like, people can be nice to you and everything. Oh, but your are... own blood will, sure. will fuck you up. For money. And For never, money. never, like, um, what's the word to use? The niggas that will be in, like, a nigga like Timo's ear. And with people around people, yeah, yeah, that's also a very deep thing, hmm. yes, because they could poison somebody's mind, yeah, you know, like they could all the good you've done for someone, they could hmm. be in that person's ear, like, oh, yep. bro, this guy they chop you, this guy, they, yeah, I'm telling nah, you, let me bust you, the head. let me bust the head. let Are me you chop him. You know, team, right? team, let me tell you something. No, man, I'm just to you today, him, like, to, yeah, yeah. Him. that's a very, that's a very, very, that's a very legit question. <laughs> because you know, because you not know, sometimes like, not not like, we like. were talking about artists and record labels. Sometimes I, sometimes I hear when artists are like, "These guys are chopping me." <sighs> okay, so, so let me put this. Let me let me, let me say this. Give um, like hundred years let me, contract. Let me say let me say this quickly. Let me say this quickly. Right. So, I like her questions because they put more. The reason why I like her questions might be different from why many people like like your questions. The reason why I like your questions is because it gives me more opportunity so to show how much of my part and uh, and how much of like how weird the situation was. So Tim's con- contract was uh, simple. What was it? Five years or oh. four? four years? It was four years? I think I sent you. Yeah, I sent you. It was four years. And wow, we- a journalist must not reveal his source. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked that blood clot through, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I said to the bloody contract because, because I was on some. I beg, let me see if I'm Are they tripping. Crazy? Do you understand? Yeah. When like you, you are, you are so convinced you are right, but you know when things can get to the internet, the artist is always right to the listeners first. Yes. Right. So I have to like speak to other guys that work with me in music. Like I beg, am let I me wrong? see whether I'm mad or, no, or I'm am tripping or I'm not. ripping this guy off. off. You understand? His contract was simply four years and we own masters only for seven years. After I yeah, take your license master and do, You understand? Do whatever you want with it. Right? Also, his contract was like, we're going to, uh, we're, we're supposed to be paying him net. But at the time, this, 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 this young man was in Bells and he did not have a lot of money. His music if you calculate net, was not bringing in a lot of money. So, for one whole year, we are paying him gross of mechanicals. Hmm. As per, take, don't worry. Take gross. Because so, you guys knew it was going to blow. 
He said, you guys had faith that it was going to be. <sighs> I was sure as hell. And apart from being sure as hell, I crossed from corporate. And if there's one thing seems can also not lie about me. If I tell you a meeting is like 12, I'll be there at 11.45 because we have to do what we have to do to make you blow. I used to create what I used to create checklists for him. He used to hate me for he used to hate me for it. Sometimes he would sing a song and I'm like, ah, the people who want to sell this song to, this is too crass <clears throat> for you to see. You know, there's some stuff that we can say is provocative enough as an art form, but there's some stuff that like is just bare barbaric to see. But I mean, we can joke about it in our parlor, but like it's bare barbaric. Yeah, stuff like that. Out. You understand? Mm-hmm. I would also be like, yeah, um, no, you can't do that. So I was on job for him. Two four seven. He can't lie about this, but I'm saying this straight into the camera. I'm saying this. I'm saying this straight into the mic and into the camera. <laughs> I was giving this nigga my 24 hours. It was so bad. Like he knew my girlfriend. Nobody I work with knows knows anybody I date at any point in time. But because of how like you know close we were, we were always giving him hours. So when all of that happened the way it happened, of course I was very 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 very. very 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 sad but yeah it was what it was he he reneged on his contract while he had the subsisting contractors he signed somewhere else and tried to lie about it tried to stiff <laughs> his way out of the contract did you make your money back no did i make my money back what i what i did was negotiate um a structure that was just going to give us money that was spent yep. on him like i just didn't want to run at a loss so after after that happened, we we're like, you know, you've done this again. Remember, Which I think I, was magnanimous on you guys' part. But. Yes, like, yes, yeah, which I stated earlier. Like, I'm a very let's not make fights. Let me get what I can get and just leave here. So after all of that happened, we we're like, you know, so this is what's gonna happen. Um, this is how much you spent on you. Um, this is how much whatever whatever i like want to get even as like you know payment for stress yeah. right so this is the amount like you are going to pay this is the percentage you're going to give us because even at the time while he still had subsequent contractors he had already dropped a song with empire yeah and yeah, he had a bado song he already had a bado song and mind you and mind you most of those links came from my brother my brother is the social butterfly Hmm. My brother already, he already had the David verse. Like him, he messed up a lot of stuff for himself. So like, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> so one of those brother. things. Um, what? so just to add to. No, but before you speak, he has to answer on why he stayed loyal. Loyal. Um. Yes. Yeah, um, I can't lie. She, <laughs> she said I'm grasping everything. <laughs> please, I, I just have to ask her what, what is not my question. You have to understand, but the niggas next to an artist, hmm. I feel they they really affect coming thinking. from an artist. Yeah, the yeah. thinking. Of an artist, I'm only a strong, mm. very strong person. Person can think for themselves. Mm. That's what me, I personally feel. Now with me and loyalty, I will feel is a course mm. for me. You know, I don't shout to you. Mm. I swear to God, because I don't now. I, I I very I very much understand. Uh, yes, I do. Why we why, why me loyalty? You understand? Yeah. Like that's the only way it should be. I feel like whether you like it or not, everybody sitting here represents people. In terms of character, some people will watch him and identify with him. Some people watch you, watch yeah. you, identify with you. And me, anybody look at Melody, when I saw you, I had to hug you. And I've never seen you before. But the love you show me as an artist. No, they hate this babe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because you wear leopard. I was really one of those. Because you wear true. I was really one of those. I did the work. No, I'm going to be real with you. I did the work. I know. I this nigga. Being an artist in this country. When I started, not be now or two yeah. years ago, three, four yeah. years yeah. ago, when everybody be at yeah. yeah. When me I started, hey <laughs> God, it was if you enter a what the <laughs> fuck Daytona or one, one of these like grocery stores with colored hair and tattoos. <laughs> I'm looking at you like eleven in the morning going to the studio. I'm talking like 2015. I look at you. Yeah, what you're is, not a serious person. What was this guy doing? You know. So yeah. I have so much appreciation for people who understood, hmm. understand, and supported you. what we're doing. Tia was working a nine to five man. job. Yeah, <laughs> I begged him. I'm not. He will tell you. Just to him. I begged him. Almost maybe eight, seven months. Go be my manager, please. Be my manager, because he used to work in my cousin's website, Culture Co Studio. Yeah. Who's your cousin? 
Tito Joey. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bro, that, that nigga is a I'm sorry, I have to big up my cousin though. But that nigga is a silent nigga, but he's deep yeah. in entertainment. I have a track with David Doe through him. So many things. Oh. But he, Tia, used to work with him. Yeah. And I used to beg Tia, bro, you do work nine to five. Come and work with me as an artist. Be my manager. I don't have manager. I just have efforts. I will be with him. I will power. Power supposed to poster. <laughs> please. I used to beg him, bro, please. That's the title of this episode. I'm not going to lie. Work with me as my manager. He didn't need to. He didn't you need know? to. No, I remember him from... Even everybody I have encountered, I remember them from the beginning. Yeah. He didn't need to work with me. Yeah. But I forced, I don't say I forced, I begged him. Yeah. And he came to my label head at the time, he saw the vision, since then we'll be working. So it's not even about loyalty, that's my brother. That's not loyalty, that's like my blood. Mm. Tina and I have fought so many times. Obviously. But look at us today. My yeah. blood, we have an understanding. He's eating from me, I'm eating from him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's just the kind of person I mean, because. When I started this shit, a lot of people looked at me like I was nothing. Yep. So the small people were able to give me a little chance, made me have a very loving heart. And then yep. what's the word? Endearing. Is it the word endearing? Yeah, it's endearing. Like, endearing, like when you just appreciate yeah. people. Because yeah. okay. like I keep saying, I don't talk. All the talk you see me talk is probably, if you really look at it, it's around my music. And about your money and about your work. Deal, yes. Mike. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I know this um, no, brother, he didn't de- enter. I'm you. telling you, brother. Shivas, yeah. XV, Nika, yeah. buy yourself so, so, a bottle. Can I say something on like yes, what? Yes, on like what? Yes, on like what? Loyalty yes, conversation. Yeah, on loyalty conversation. Um, I just wanted to espouse more on the on the entire like. What Did you, you say espouse? Expand. <laughs> espouse. I actually said espouse. Ha. Oh, you bro. It's XV. <laughs> by the way, way by the way, so shout out, so shout out to my friend, shout out to my friend Vanessa. So she's always saying I'm using like words like her mother uses. So, <laughs> so, so here's the thing, right? I also think that the the entire um team situation was um it also went bad because of the difference in what we saw. So, I was crossing from from corporate world, and it was startup, right? Corporate world startup. The money that startup used to collect in 20, that 2019, 2018 period when people were starting to look at Nigerian nines, startups were collecting nines 1M dollars. They were collecting nines 2M. The smallest were collecting like 600. So he, the reason why I mentioned this was this. Um, one of my first like frictions with Tim Stein when like I think somebody came up to us with, was it 30 grand for, I don't know if it was a distribution or something. And I said, no. And he's like, why? And I said, simply no. And he's like, why? I was like, okay, see, by the time this thirty dollars is applied to your music, thirty k, not really going to matter, bro. It's not really going to matter. Like the most that might even touch your hand is if we say, you know what, like, bro, you you say don't try, hold four k or hold two k or hold three k. Use it to hold your side. But how much would would two k or three k have given you? So when I looked at in the entire thing, and I was like, this kid is not going to promote you. Plus also, plus also, my brother and I, no gain saying in this, we had 30K in our pockets. So like, somebody has to give us like, rich what nigga shit, quadruple nigga. of that. Old money. Stop, stop. We're not old money. Old money, money niggas. Relax, relax. Well, like you brought someone that has dollars just casually sit with me. <laughs> 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 Mm. Oh, well, shout out to shout out to the guys that are for no no <laughs> bets. No mind me, I'm kidding. So so yeah. So here's the thing. I'm following Instagram now. <laughs> God, yeah, you have me horsey. So here's so here's the thing. So my perspective, somebody came to us with 30k yeah. saying they want certain percentage. Enough money that you have, so it's like why And if I have 30k, I yeah. can tell you fuck off. If you I'm bring 120, you I will give talk. you that percentage that you want. Yeah. You understand? If I am in business with somebody, if like I crossed over from corporate to join with somebody who was who was just writing his final year project, mm. right, and they bring a 30k, and and I'm like that's rubbish, and he says oh that's good, we are going to have our first problem. You understand? And so I have to have like periods where I talk to him and tell him, bro, I'm not that much older than you, but I promise you. 30k is smaller than the amount what of money deserve. that we'll get if we just use our own head to do work. 
and just wait like one month or two months. Niggas will come to you with 60k, 50k. He knows now. He knows how the business is. Yeah. You understand? Like, do your own work and get proof of concepts first. So you go and tell people. It's much easier to negotiate with a success behind you. You feel me? Much easier. So that was our first problem. So when other people came to him with contracts and then like he fell for one and then he signed one while he had one that was subsisting with us, you can then tell that it's just the difference between I've seen money. So, yeah, I've seen relax. I've worked in places where <laughs> that money was like everyday conversation. The only thing made with the scene are a dollar sign. You understand? I've worked in places <laughs> so I don't necessarily have to have 30k or touch 30k in my pocket. But my but my like direct boss is telling me, oh we are we are budgeting 40 grand for that. You understand? And maybe that was the last commission I had for Where were you working in corporate? I said where did you, where did you work in corporate? It was a company called Secular. Okay. So this company was, had like bulk SMSs on, on lockdown. No, but you see that with his explanation about this money, yeah. with um, Temple's explanation about the money, where he said that the first thing that brought about the, 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 the drift was somebody offering 30k and him seeing it as small money and him like, oh my god, that's money that we should collect. I think I now, I now understand why you Sorry mentioned the money you, thing previously. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, because that. money that, that was not moving you was a lot of money. That's yeah. Nigerian artist's the notion. Like Sorry, Dio, no vex. <laughs> but that's Nigerian artist's the notion. <laughs> I, I, I'm very happy that the market has moved from that now. Not really, though. Bro, really? Not really. Really? Trust me. No really. Or maybe maybe it's just people <laughs> I speak to. Are you sure? Because brother, brother, money did this industry. Because brother. money don't enter the industry now. So some brother. people you go and meet them with some money, they will listen to their work. I know someone that's in mortgage their future for twenty five k three weeks ago. Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> that person might feel that what? <laughs> <laughs> My brother, you don't understand. Seventy five past twenty five. Huh? Twenty five. So like it's what it is. It's apples every single day, bro. Niggas out here just signing crazy. Bro. Uh, thing because you you've been in the industry so you know the war. <laughs> this is so <laughs> bad. I have goosebumps. Why do you say Sorry. you live in? Uh, this, that is so bad. I have actual goosebumps. Bro, five grand, bro, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, let me tell, let me tell you something. One bro. of the worst deals I've ever. I don't. Even, I didn't even think that type of deal was possible. Or still existing. Yeah. No, no, no. He never existed. He <laughs> created, but he drafted it to ruin his life. <laughs> <laughs> to ruin that brother. To ruin his life. Mm. And he signed it because mm. of how much advance seven thousand five hundred. Don't, don't forget, bro. You know you guys have more exposed than a, a lot of artists. They just sit true. down in their rooms. They're making I think it's a privilege. I want to go back to that hotel conversation. I'm yeah. going back there because I think we sort of drifted. I think <laughs> why is this, this? It's nice to yearn about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know. Sorry, please. No, so I know how deep money is hmm. in an artist. I know how that that thing is, and I know how it be. But what may I personally feel? The people who are sorry next to artists, these artists, they are a driving driving force in the way they think. You okay. know, like you could spend so much on somebody, and that's why I love Tia. You know, Tia has been with me since 2017. I have um, some other people, Buhari, Pace Management, but they've never. Yo, Buhari, Yesufu. Yes, yes, like yes, 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 yes. And the way I've thought, they've <laughs> thought like me. You hmm. know, we never felt like nobody was it's all about perspective like he said it never felt and you said there's ne- yeah. it never felt like nobody was using us every opportunity was an opportunity that we do every opportunity was an opportunity we have to run it up hmm. understand like we have to walk the fuck up i've been signed to i've been signed to let me hmm. say hmm. four i'll say four labels more of three then the fourth one is like distribution in this new age of nigerian music more of distribution and label so i've say i've had four big opportunities or someone to finance my dreams be it when i was in uni i had my first label was i was in uni when i first started rapping but if i had to shoot videos not my for my pocket yeah. like now but then it was like i had people and everything for us that's not just because if we all think the same me tinia me buari me if they ever felt we were being used they'll tell me deal this guy they use also hmm. you know free this but we've all felt the same that this is an opportunity that yo do you had a dream or this this person wants to use the dream so every day of our lives we got to push you know we got yeah. we got to push and to the contract that's me the person you never see us come out with we are contract um, issue or never. contract debates never because of perspective this is a dream like i said i've had and anybody who can come and help support my dream i have to feed you 
as I'm feeding myself and I'm chasing my dream. That's how I feel because you're helping me. I have no idea what it is to do with. But some other people might feel different. You know, the people next to them are like, oh, man, this guy, they use you. This guy, they, they chop you. you get. But none of my niggas have ever, ever told me. In fact, they've pushed me deal. We never, we never shoot this video. We never do this. I never do that. So someone like me, the system of like label heads and even distro now, because that's what I've been in since 2020. It has worked for me. With yeah. your team. Yes. Dio, what has been the greatest help to your career? Everybody. Every single. If we are going to mention one person. Charlie, if you are going to mention one person in unique car, it's me and some guy named Nkuru Wem. Shout out to that nigga Nkuru Wem. Bruh. That nigga was blasting the songs off of his car. Dio, <laughs> who me? <laughs> my homie. Yeah. For real. Wow. Oh my, nah, 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 I'm I'm always going to shout to my all Aww. the time. Shout out to him. <laughs> I hope he's still listening. Me, I'll say, no, all of them. That's why I don't play. Mention their names. Tia. Let me start from like if I sit down. Tia, my first label, plug records, and our papa's my nigga. He doesn't talk too much. But him, Buhari, since I have an opportunity to talk, pace my mind. Buhari. No, 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 Barry yeah, yeah, Sufu. He shot something he, recently for he, him. He used yeah. to be, yes, he even shoots music videos now. Now we shoot music videos. Yeah, that's know. the first time yeah, I saw Barry shoot music, music videos. videos. So no, really calm guy with a mustache. I swear. But you know, <laughs> my story is my like my image. I see that image. I can't shoot it. But he has He understands eyes. it. He ah, he understands because yeah. we were working together. Um, I have an OG called Peace. He's like OG, OG, Peace Manager. Gunslinger? Huh? The good, the bad, the ugly? No, 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 no. He's like, <laughs> for every radio station, every music station is him who has put me on that. Yeah, like man. normally. Shout out to him. So shout out to them and them. I have my Yankee niggas integral. Orchard is the distro. Shout out to Orchard is the distro. Yes. Chuka. But everything has been of off my talking to them and of the work that they see. So I'm very appreciative of them. I hope to God. Me, I be artist. Whether I like them or not, that's my calling. That's I, whether music or directing, not acting, directing the video. Mm-hmm. I be at it. So I appreciate them so much for the be a little bit small, but to me it's a lot, you know, that they've done for me. So back to this other conversation. The reason why I want to have it is because we're talking about opportunities and timing and like politics in the industry preventing success. You mm-hmm. guys are pressing your phones. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I'm do- I want to read something to what okay. I was saying. Okay, fantastic. Um and Dio, do you think being a part of the Alter movement hampered that hampered a moment in your progress? Um I feel the Alter movement was beautiful. It's beautiful still. Like it's not yet nothing is dead to what the father lady sings, but the Alter movement is beautiful. I feel like the niggas who they gave the lime the shine to or the limelight the to leaders. Like, I feel like, uh, be it a Santi or... Because I'm going to be real with you. I feel like more limelight in our third world was given to Santi and Odunsi. They don't talk much. Personality. You know, Personality-wise. Yeah. Because they focus on the work, just like in me. You know, we don't talk much. And at that time, I really thought that the work could speak for itself. So I'm never going to say or tell hamper us. Us, ourselves, we needed to do more work. Be it now or be it whenever. We needed to talk more. For ourselves based on the country we're in yeah but um i feel like that's what shaped me into the man i am today and into the man i will be tomorrow so when there's an opportunity for me to talk i will speak always and be the especially around the world i will speak but i feel like there's a misconception about i don't even know why people don't like Ote. i feel like okay please go on. yeah i personally feel like maybe they feel the music is from privilege and a few people are seclusive but they might not know that a Santi or a Anodusi or a, at that time maybe Wave, maybe not Wave, Wave is from America, maybe in Nosso Amadi. A lot of these people, if they call calling me in Ote, a lot of us were outcasts already Fair in the world we were living in. And we were already, out, we already outcasts to our own people. Yeah. And we decided these are calling. This is where God gave us to call. So you found a community which was really okay, what I'm saying. And those guys, they don't talk. You know, and I feel like, let's say limelight. I don't feel limelight was given to me. I feel like, yes, people call my name. But like now when you say, <laughs> sorry, I'm not taking it personal. When you say Wildfire is my best, I don't think so. I feel my music, yeah, I feel my it's music. It's timeless. It's not been released yet. No, you know, no, maybe you like, a lot of people, may, maybe they know me, but they've not really heard and like, you know, divulged no, into. not experienced you. Let, let me give you an example. Like um, my album, Love is War. It was yeah. the fader named it as, yeah. as their 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best yeah. album of the year. Yeah. There's a um, Pan African music that's like a French magazine. They yeah. named the number. I don't want to call what I don't know, but I think it was top ten. I don't see number. Yeah, top, it was top ten. had the top ten. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? But so the music has never dropped. I I've like how I put it. When I was younger, bro, I would come on Twitter and talk nonsense. But, but guess what? When you start having that nonsense, you can't come. Back. Like, you can't I come back and say. Yo, million dollar plan, million dollar dream or Fuck something. your niggas. You fuck everybody. But when you start having like, maybe small, maybe 10K in your account or 50K. <laughs> if you say that thing now, you seem like, oh my guy, what are you? Are you what are you doing? Why are you, are you acting like this? Why are you acting like a small boy? Why are you making you know, noise? Start, and I've seen Twitter favors the people who are like that mentality. But I'm not that mentality. I'm a man. I'm not a boy. I'm a leader. Whether they like it or not, I've made a career for out myself of hmm. out of not being yeah, that yeah. popular. I'm still here talking to you guys. You go, yeah. are you yeah. people are important? Yeah, so and they see your podcast on one job link. Hey, man, no, I am you know important. So, people want to hear, sorry, yes. people want to hear what I have to say. I made a career of myself, you know, in this shit, of being focused, not controversy, not dumb shit. If controversy comes, it will be natural. Whatever comes, it will be natural, but off. And it's real. You know and I'm it's saying? not just, drama. Real life. Thank you. Of just being myself. Do you, do you think that, sorry, do you, in this conversation of you, do you think that more spotlight should have been on you? Yes, who? Ah, is it Ote? For Ote? You, yes. Ote or him? No, on you. On now is like I feel at that at the I, time. How do I explain it? Now is the spotlight of me. Yes. Is definitely going to be more of my work because I've been in the game. My name is known. So if anybody is putting spotlight on me, it's how the kind of spotlight I want. Mm -hmm. But at that time, when we were fresh and coming up into this game. I feel my music was very different. To I agree. That music. I agree. And bro, let me bust your head. I watch one. That's why I respect you. I watched one interview where they are became with money. I will say this shit and Osax do podcast. Yeah. You spoke from the back. You will not even know what I'm talking about. This is my own. Yeah, life, I think I remember. Life. I remember. But you spoke from the back and you called my name. But my point mm. is, then when yeah. then when they were from you know the foundations of this shit when they were speaking of it. I remember that. I feel my name should have been called. But now it's like this is my life. Like if you like my music, I know I'm dope. My art is, is dope, so you call my yeah. name. But then when I was younger, that I feel like... You wanted that more, the validation. You know what I'm saying? But now it's more of like, I know, like even now, like being in the game for so long, and I'm an artist, I feel my art will speak for itself, be it on one or two occasions. There will be one of them, like now my, I just dropped a video with um, Fino. Yeah. It went viral. I announced the artwork maybe like a month before I dropped the... I dropped, literally dropped the trailer of the video two days before the song came out. Because yep. I didn't have a plan. This is Fino. Fino gave me a song. He literally gave me a song. I wanted him on my song, Koro Koro. The time schedule was too, too, too much. He gave me a song. He said, do you take this song? Shame on you. You get So I took this song. Now, to promote this song, because I'm a very promotional person. This is Fino, superstar. I go, I go tell Fino, boss, please. And they promote today. Please help me retweet. Help me. So I was very confused. On what to do. On what to yeah. do. So the, what we, the best thing we did was like, yo, bro, let's do a crazy ass video where we like, we even hold yeah. Fino's posters, show homage to him for what he has done for me. Because a lot of people, <laughs> I swear to God, a lot of people have promised me opportunity and faltered. Mm. Mm. You know, mm. faltered, like daggered me in the chest. Mm. I don't even know why. Where did you hear that? <laughs> they daggered him in the chest. I love this man. Dagger. Relax, 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 wow. relax, 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 relax. <laughs> I promise you, Motolani is, a, is an instigator. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Boti, Boti, Yobi, Boti. Boti, Yobi. Why I love Boti? I don't even mean that. No, really Melody small. doesn't. Melody has a problem with daggering. <laughs> no, please, take that fucking word off my fucking... I don't want to be hearing such bullshit. Hey. Dagger, okay. Fucking dagger. I see, but at the time, you know, a lot of people... <laughs> Yeah, you know, I love it. That's why I respect them. I'm sorry, man. This guy is like his <laughs> fool. That's why I respect the Zeke. That's where he gets his high from. Media. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that I was going to have that reaction. Please <laughs> <laughs> talk about your dagger, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of niggas daggers. Sorry, my friend. This guy, this guy has a personal vendetta. Why lie? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, but, I... but that, that's heartbreaking, though. How about? Mm. How? No, let how, me ask my question. Sorry, Tony, you, you should so, ask a question. So, you said something about like the industry. Mm. Um, in my opinion, I feel like the alter, the alter demographic or 
the community. I would just, I say community fits it better. Mm-hmm. I said the other, the other community did a lot for the in, in, for the modern Nigerian music industry. Maybe not a lot, but they did a few things that we still see now. Largely, yes. but we did yes. fights. We did fights. I think. I, I, I think. I think. I think okay. The outside community did a lot. But let me okay. say one. Not I'm a sorry. few. I'm sorry, a lot. Like, me, if you go and take my Twitter, I was talking every year, but I probably do not have the limelight. But these niggas that were put there. I don't blame them because I know them personally. I know their personalities. Seeing today, this game likes fighters. We didn't fight enough. Even me, I'll put my even me, the little I did, Talk. we didn't fight enough. In terms of talkability? Yeah. yeah. That was that was we didn't define <clears throat> what was going to be allowed. Cause I feel like even me at that time, because I used to talk a lot and I used to see the people they used to give line life. They they didn't used to talk a lot, they just used to do their work. They develop personality. You get what I'm saying? So I used yeah. to feel like maybe the work could speak for us. But this Nigeria. But do you think it's also it was also a thing of do you think it was also a thing of the fact that the genre was not the move the movement, movement. was not as relatable enough? To the everyday man. I'm not talking about you. I understand. I'm talking about the perception of the movement. I understand. Like I keep saying, I feel we didn't talk a lot. We allowed this be de- me, I'm even part of the problem. We allowed the definition. That's a perspective. We allowed them define, define. us. That's a perspective. Like I said, I spoke to at that whatever time that was. Modio, I think Walter spoke though. I you think I think so. Well, can I say something? Can I please let me just I don't think Satya Do you know why I'm saying like Alter spoke? But the the demogra- the things that Alter spoke to, so a lot of Nigerian artists that blow, it's usually a bottom-up approach. When I say bottom-up, it's Nigeria to the world for most yeah. people. Yeah. I feel like Alter tried to do a top-down approach. What do you mean now, top-down? people in Lagos, Abuja, the hubs, maybe PH, maybe yeah. PH, knew about what Alter was. I'm not saying people in Akure didn't know what Alter was, mm-hmm. but okay. I'm talking cultural immersion did not happen <laughs> when Melody cultural integration happens that's where the conversation really begins and that's, that's where this, i love this bro i love this conversation all right and that's what i'm trying to tell you that the limelight was given to niggas with no and personality there was a, i don't mean no personality more people who are shy their work speaks volumes the same reason that people love them okay let's let's rewind back or say the first ever time I heard Ote, the word, it was, no, 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 that word was created by Budge yep. on the microphone. Yep. Yep. And TZ. That's Budge. That's it TZ. was created by t- two of them in a day studio. And that was in maybe 2014, 2013. Mm. But it did not blow until them Santi Odosi 16, 15, exactly carried it. Yeah. The reason why I blew, in my personal opinion, be it by their court fan base, that's, let's say I go for their show, the people who are at these shows. The reason why I blew is because Santi Odosi, I don't even know if people know this. They were from the mainland. Yeah. Do you? You get. I lived in Osapa, London. You can call it Thailand. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, my friends are my friends at that time were all island people. Yeah. Now I was signed to D tunes. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, in 20, I, know. I was signed to D tunes. My life changed. That's right? Shantizu's D tunes. Yes. Yes. D tunes again. I didn't know that. The year when Shantizu was like maybe. I was started to this was in 2015. I left uni, like I left masters, ran away from school. Didn't tell my father, didn't tell my mother, ran away to wow, Nigeria. Wow, I didn't know that. Yes. But I'm saying Santi and Odunsi, they changed. I'm telling you from an hotel perspective. Yeah. They had that right because people were supporting them, the mainland niggas, the people who are not. This is now not street people. This is more of middle class people. On who the are mainland? Not, yes. Yeah, yes. Magodo. Yes. CM. But, bro, Ikeja Jari. That's still. That's still rich niggas. Wait, boo, please hear me. Hear me. Let's, let's you finish. see what I'm saying? You see these rich niggas? It's more of an outside perception. perception. Because the rich niggas, if you're calling rich niggas, are on the island. I hear you. Now, Santi and Odosi, the re- even GMK, the produ- producers, now let me shout out the producers. Shout out GMK. Boys, GMK and Genius. That's the GMK. The Monster Boys, Genius. right? Genius. The reason why they got so much love was because they were representing the middle class people, the, the rich, the, you're calling them rich, or the people in the mainland yeah. who I had... I think I know where the problem is now. 
Yeah, the people who had exposure, they were representing them. Because those people were never as cool as the island kids and the DRB fans and the DRB listeners. Because Fresh, that's true. Fresh yeah, is yeah. a fucking Ikoi nigga. Do you understand oh, what yes. I'm saying? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm not this, I love Fresh too. Bro. I love him too. He's my guy. He's yes. coming on this podcast. Let Pity Boy Dio finish this conversation. <laughs> Santi and Odusi, they represented the mainland people who are cool, but maybe they didn't feel too cool because they were seeing the people on the island. Yes, Ikeja so, Jerry bro, representing. Way, let me give you an example. JMK. Bro, this nigga is a mytho- me. If you ask me my questions about music, you to shock your head. JMK is one of the mythological figures in this industry. I think JMK is one of the best Nigerian producers in the last ten years. Bro, do you know that Can he doesn't I say leave? Something? Do you know he doesn't I leave? I only Mangodi? trust JMK's ears to mix anything. Fair. Mm. I didn't even He's know really that. good. I only trust but James Keyes. Shut up, you up. He doesn't leave his house in Magodu. Magodu, I know. His bro, father was I there. I can still show you a video from like last bro, Saturday. His father was a pilot. We had to go to his house. Yes. His father was, I think, <laughs> he was a pilot. His mother was an actress. Like That's they, Caroline King's They son. literally supported yeah. him when he was a kid. My mother, too, yeah. my father, they threw me out of the house. I used to sleep in my friend's house. <laughs> him, his house was a hub for Odunsi, all the mainland boys. The boy, what they represented, I was jealous. You know what does it mean, jealous? Of that natural free love mm, from family do you understand that? bro i'll go for the i'll go for those days when we were just blowing up i'll go for sure the cameramen all of them that like were all okay when is the sound you produce they leave their camera i can't start jumping with with them uh, i'm freaky baby all of them this was no tears in the jungle concert thank all the you. cameramen left everything bro because it was a family left, bro they was, left everything well, bro, that thing humbled me. What is drip and what is all this thing? But this is real love, love from the from the trenches. Community. Thank you. But guess what? Santi never spoke. He never spoke. Even in the height of his famous whatever now. Which was rapid fire. Thank you. He doesn't speak. They spoke for him. And that's the kind of that's the kind of language that was put out to us at that time. Because that, whatever is leading is what you the mystique. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You okay, get I hear what's driving. So that. I, yeah. so, so, yes. so I think there are two perspectives, mm-hmm. right? There's a perspective from inside the community and from outside, and then there's the bird's eye view. Yes. For me, I'm not being in that community. Are you not in the so community? So you, you were in the community. Um, so I'm I'm at, I'm at what you are saying, not wrong. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? It's a game of perspectives. Yes. Mm-hmm. What you are saying is. They were mainland niggas. They were probably in all... Of, they were different from island niggas. Mm-hmm. But the problem is... Ikeja Jiare, Magodo. Still mainland. Mm-hmm. But it ain't Mushi. Yeah. It ain't Nojota. Does that, that make sense? I, it makes perfect sense. But yeah. so, so, he yeah. spoke. We wouldn't even have this conversation. Because where he reached... I don't think... When, bro, like, Whiskey was I, dancing to Rapid Fire in 2019. Bro, Santi would have run for president in 2019. You get what I'm saying? Where he reached without talking. <laughs> That's how I see it. Let's say, like, now, now, today's age, you have to speak. Yeah. Let's yeah. say it was me that had that light. Fame. I have. used to talk. Yeah. I used to be that. Uh, I used to uh, cause trouble. You, let me not say cause trouble, but I will make you tune in. Yeah, but yeah. Mama does not tune in. <laughs> he said that tune in. <laughs> yeah, Mama does not tune in. It's the music. Is it the was art. just mysterious and everything. You get what I mean? And that's why I said, I feel this thing is very. Like campaign, like when um, someone who was to be governor, <laughs> he's driving on the top of his lamb uh, lamp yeah. and out like this, everybody is scream. Yeah. So, so it's, you feel like it's because they were not loud enough about their awesomeness. But their awesomeness? I, I, th- I, sorry, melody, sorry, to yeah. so sorry. I think there was a lot of elitism as well. Um, mm, I don't yeah. agree. It's I okay. I, we can I agree to disagree. We have an idea where he's coming from about the elitism. Is it's a or, game of perspective. It's on the consumer side. Yeah. From so outside. Again, the beds are a lot of guys that are consuming all time music and liking it. They were making it seem like, oh, if you are not on our level, you are not going to get Exactly. Yes. So, so Dio, the, the, the view that, that mattered, <laughs> and the view that, that's what um, Temple is trying to say, the view that matters outside. was the bed's eye view. Yes. Yeah. It wasn't the view from inside. I yeah. Agree. Does always, that make I, always, sense? I get you, but I've always wondered, like, what was the bed's eye view? So the bed's eye view were the niggas in Ojota, mm-hmm. niggas in Akure, Mm-hmm. Niggas in Eketa Kwai Bomb. Well, like, they Does were that make sense? Oh, so, those people people are are fans. so, uh, so I'm not saying you don't, yeah. but it's not. They were just, listeners. Were they fans? Like proper people. Do you okay. know that the university students? When yeah. I was an hotel artist, I say yeah. like from 2017. Are you no longer there? No, I I am. But when like the now, community was now, now I feel music now, right now is not, bro. Taves is an hotel artist if I want to Fair talk enough. about yep, I hear you get, you. But you don't call him that. In 2015, we would have called him. Do you get what I'm saying? In 2015, we would have been. Yeah, for like a hotel artist. Hotel artists, we, university students, 
if you go and look at any, any university student, maybe not now because Rema dresses like yeah. us, but if you go and look at any uni student, everybody dresses like it. But they dress like other students. Everybody? Yeah. Dresses like you. So what they did, everybody ran with your aesthetics. Mm-hmm. The aesthetics. I'm not even saying good. the artist. No, 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 no. I'm saying the artist. Me, I'm saying. I this. know. I know. But that one, that one. <laughs> I'm Me, not even. I'm I know. Saying I'm not saying the artist. I'm saying the students. <laughs> Do you need to dance? These to dance. Yeah. You get maybe they will not call. They will not call. Oh, Santi is a which which I feel they will, but like they will not call Dio is a hero or whatever. But they used to dress, just like other people, just like to today. I, I hear saw. You. I saw one on that point. On that point, I, I agree because I, I, I agree with him. First you know time, first time, first time, first time oh. I saw like these guys wearing like cool cropped tank shirts. I went back to you know my shirts they were like falling over my bum. I cut them so they'd be like just here. Yeah. <laughs> <Bro. laughs> okay, I'm telling I you. I saw there was a guy. Fact. There was a guy. So I was, I used to live in Shango Tedo, right? Mm. This is 2018, 2019. Damn. And yeah, I used to live in Shango Tedo. Wow. Well, United well. States to the world, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you had light all the time. <laughs> um, That's like, so I was time. living, and I, I used to cut my my hair at there was a, there was a hotel at the entrance of United States, and I saw this guy, bro, bro, real life shit. Mm-hmm. This nigga came, and I don't know if he's ever had the bow but this nigga was dressed padlock earrings. Mm. Ah, but that's like, a thing now. Um, yeah. What's the name of this chain? Like, um, real life chain as like his chain. Baggy yeah. His trousers. shoes were like baggy ass. Bro, baggy ass trousers, sneakers. Were, bro, he looked like an hotel artist. And I asked him, Do you know what it says? He said he doesn't know. Mm. Now, here is where I had the answer. That episode where you said I spoke, shout out to TZ. TZ came to that episode. I've said this several times on this pod. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. TZ said, Alte is just what the young people are doing. Mm. Way of and life. Yeah, it was, it was a culture for a lot of young They didn't know that it was Alte. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But it was. This nigga put, this nigga, this is why I shout them out, like Borja and T. They put an identity on something that a lot of people couldn't define, which was retro culture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which was a lot of Nollywood influences, yes. which was a lot of um, 90s, early 2000s influences, yes. and they, they sort the of sound. created a character. Exactly. They created a character around it. Yeah. The only critic I have was there was a moment where integration should have happened, and I felt like you guys also had access. Better, better than the regular niggas from Kukumaiko and Erebus. I felt, and this is not a knock on you guys, this is mm-hmm. just an incident of life. Like initially, I used to be like, nah, they shouldn't be getting, I can't lie to you. But the older I got, the more I realized what life is, right? Yeah. You guys went to like some of the best schools. You guys went to some of like, you went to schools where you had, access. the people that were getting out from those schools were, get, were the niggas with the access or they knew the niggas with access, right? Mm-hmm. And what happened with that was a lot of people got access off of those things, right? But at the time, I think you guys were also guinea pigs my opinion i think you guys were guinea pigs for like what a lot of companies wanted at the time a lot of companies that weren't sure what they wanted at the time but yeah. they were just interested in like this altered thing that they saw on vogue and that they saw on rolling stone or fader whatever so i think it was just a lot of timing problems mm. but opinion. also was the work as was the work was when you like you said that the conversations i'm like the work rate and the conversations did they align? Mm-hmm. Me, so I don't think so. I'm assimilating these things you say, but I love this. I can't lie. At least I'm here. I start to be here, or any yeah. other person be here. Yeah. Nobody has been here. I'm yeah. the Um, I'll say something like I said, number one thing, niggas were too quiet. I hear like you. Like, even that. me, that's the perspective that I didn't have. Yeah, I'm it's telling it's you, first time I'm here. So, any definition yeah. you have, you define. I Whatever feel, you want. I feel, cause like me, right? Them sound like the Vogue's and the Rolling Stones you're talking about. I feel personally that those are the only connections these people had to amplify whatever they were. I doing. think that was intentional because they could have done it with the local media. They didn't. I did. You, in fact, I said say, they. I know, I know, but I'm saying like someone like me, mm. them, their own perspective it's is different. is what they saw as. Which as, is not their problem because, because they uh, thought they could. Let me ac- let me room, let me room fuck you up, bro. You know mm. this playlist thing really. I don't know if you guys see playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this Spotify, all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Santi's. I'm tired of calling. I know what you're talking about. Santi's manager is the girl Spotify right now. I don't even know if she's still the girl. <laughs> she's still there. 
Odusi's manager. Was so, what I'm trying to tell you is this. Eh? Like, what you're saying about. I'm not dissing. I'm not dissing. It's, it's not dissing. I, I hear what you're saying about bad boy teams. The people next to you, they literally. From me, all the Spotify employees. Yeah. Be I said they, they literally formulate your whole yeah. career, bro. Like, I'll never forget the first time Apple did one playlist. And Odusi, I think, and David Doe were the only Nigerian artists on that playlist. That was situation yeah. ship. Do you understand? So, what this boy has seen from his manager, it's not the same thing where me have seen, where me at the pay Sound City, at the oh, pay true. MTV base, at the pay radio station. You were trying to immerse. Do you understand what I'm saying? And what I feel is this elitist thing, I can never call, if you're calling me part of it, I'm definitely not. And I'll never call, I don't think you were. Do you get, I'll never call Santi Odosi part because this Santi was an outcast. Odosi, I don't even know, to me, Odosi is younger than us, but Santi is my age. That boy was an outcast. I hear you. He was not a cool kid. The elitist, they call him, no. He was an art boy. Those days, when we were artists, we were was laughed at, spat at. This one is like, doing music, he's failing in school. Also, I was doing what our parents want us to do. We were <laughs> rebels, we were like, looked at as out, outcasts. If we spoke more, it would be better for us. I hear you. You understand? But I've seen like, relatability. You get. But life is not over yet. There's so much time. And this is. Whether anybody likes it or not, whether it's Nigeria or whatever, it's still art. I don't care. Melody, um, dear, please hold that thought. Melody, do you want to announce our winners? I hope people know that I'm, I'm, I'm really sad to break people that to know that the podcast has finished. <laughs> do you guys know it's already 12? That's, do you know that's, that's the um, hallmark of a great podcast. This is like, uh, wait, so we so spoke so for many things. two hours, two hours. Two hours. That's the em- wow. emblem. We have not been talking about, oh my God. We have a so lot of things. Too many about. things. What do you want to do? I survived. Please now, just 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I survived. Give us 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Give us 10 minutes now. Announce winners. Hercules, you, you survived. I just knew. I knew you didn't you know. Survived. Announce winners. No, I don't know. Give me 10 minutes. I'm just like, Thanks, my you just guys know that we're done. We survived. DOC, I survived. No controversy. You ain't survived shit, nigga. Take. You ain't survived shit. Sorry, no controversial questions. That's so. Okay, so um, he said he's speaking to the survivor. No, no, I can't lie. If there's anything, <laughs> oh, this kind of conversation, this hotel conversation is a very good conversation. They're not elitist. I'll speak for me, I'll speak for those boys. They're too scared to even speak. At least I can speak and be abused. I can speak and be chaired. But this, it was never elitist. These are rebels. You're looking at people who are like black sheep. My De Goyenwe album, look at it, it was black and white because I looked at myself as a black sheep. NFE. All of us looked at ourselves as NFPs. We cannot be elitist. If they are shy to speak, and don't forget, you know, like who you're surrounded by. Tia is my friend. That's I'm I've known Tia before we even entered here. But guess what? Tia listened to every podcast. In 2011, 2012, 2013, he has been the same nigga you see, just in a bigger version. Yeah. Luckily for me, I was blessed with someone like him yeah. to show me, oh, man, this thing is about Nigeria. Yeah. So like Santi, his friends might be JMK, all of them, they watch anime. We do see my, you know, <laughs> we get to Saturday and watch him. That nigga does you watch know? it. You know? The music seems like he does watch a lot of fucking anime. You get what I'm saying? They want to be, they, they're not, bro, this thing might scare them. They are alien niggas. You, get, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first person to take me to the shrine was Odusi. Yeah. Have, you, have you ever met Odusi before? Yeah, I've met him. You met him? Yeah. Odusi took me to the shrine. I was like, this was when he was popping. Like. Zero cap. No, no, Those are like, the kind of places Odusi will take you to. Let me fuck you up. Odusi will will give you That's palm wine for no bloody reason. Yeah, Odusi, when I was popping, eh, you did studio with Odusi. You go to sit down like, like, this, <laughs> like this. Like this. Like this. Like saying me. Uh, Seri <laughs> Chakra. Star Wars. Yeah, very spiritual. All of us are very different. What's mm-hmm. going on here? I swear to God. That boy took me to the shrine. I was like, oh, this guy. Why Yo, I... Mike. Sorry. That boy took me to the shrine. I'm like, why am I following this? Are you sure this guy can protect you? <laughs> I did I try, no. You left your shit, isn't it? Yeah, I, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. And they loved him for him. Yeah. You know, like, and I feel, I see them I today. think Shrine is sort of a place for, like, renegades. Hmm. Yes. Kind of. Deep. Yes, but this is actually. they loved him for him. And I look at him today. He has not changed. Even Santi, they don't. Bro, they diss these boys. I'm sorry I keep talking about them. But, Please like, talk him. they diss these boys. They don't even speak. You know yeah. them, they don't even speak. You whatever, they don't even speak. And that's the problem we had. We didn't have anybody. I feel I was defining, but yeah. I don't know if I defined it enough because to today I still, still see people insulting or thing. I'm like, why? Why? I get the, the the elitist thing, but you have to understand 
These people are What's too the shy. Perspectives? You get what I'm saying? People are too shy to speak to people to say, I beg, do so for us. So they would rather do their own show and see as it goes. I hope that makes sense. No, it's, it's, the, the <sighs> thing that we have here today is there's no one perspective to all of this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, and there's also like we are talking from the bird's yeah. eye view. He's inside. The people inside is a different, different perspective. Yeah, I get yeah. that. I get True. that. Anyway, shout out to our, sh- our winners on the last episode or two episodes ago. Two episodes ago. Yes, yeah, so we put out a question asking people to let us know. I think it was about the Shiva's party. Shiva's party and then Shiva's brand manager. Yes, Shiva's <laughs> brand manager. And we got a couple of answers, but the two people that sent their, que- their answers the first. first two yes, the first two people. Yomi and Folu O. For that's Folu O, I think that's Folu Shaw. Folu, Folu Shaw on Twitter. He's, he listens to our pod a lot. I don't know if he's the one, but yeah, Folu O. Oh, Yeah, I think that's Folu Show. Yeah, F O L U S H A W. Yeah, that's cool. That's Folu so Folu O and Yomi are the winners for that particular episode. Where can they get their bottles? Um, so you can come to Pop Central. Right, pick up your come, come and pick up your bottle at Pop Central's office. When can they come? They can come to Pop Central. Um, when? I don't want to. Uh, I think you you should come. CJ, when when can they come to Pop Central? To get their drinks. To get their bottles from Nancy. Okay, whenever they are f- on on Tuesdays are better. That's what we're getting. Okay, you can come on Tuesday, right? Okay. You go past Tuesday, what time? Go what time? What time? <laughs> what time on Tuesday? <laughs> twelve, twelve p.m. Abi. Twelve p.m. Okay, is on, okay Tuesday, on Tuesday. Twelve p.m. Please um, come there, your bottle. We never spoke about your Odumodu situation, my bro. Oof. Odumodu. You spoke about loyalty. That's what you saw. Loyalty. From who to who? At the end. Loyalty to to the person who I met when he was a hustler, when he was still not people didn't know him. When I saw him, I knew that this boy was a success. Me too. You know, when I saw him, I knew. Cause I don't want to talk about what I did for him, but when I saw him, I knew this boy was a star. When he saw me, he knew I was a star, and I had to be loyal to that kid who had a dream, like me who had a dream, than I supposed to blush it. Because I'm not trying to be the biggest nigga in the hood. Don't be me talk about that guy, I go kill him, or any of those things. I've always chased my music, and I have to honor my music. So I have to be the man I am. I'm not very proud of myself. A lot of niggas with they behind me, they, they hate me, they, they beef ourselves today. But I have to stand by myself. You know, I know this boy before anybody knew him. It won't easy because if you see that thing, I was a lot of people were arguing with. I've known these people for so long that if they come and apologize to me, I would not want to go on a war. Especially if it would injure somebody or like, cause the level those videos went to was, that's a lot. You know, extreme and by that time I've not been in Nigeria for some time. Hmm. So I'm like, is this the same person where I know? The people where I wanted to call them, they were calling me, you know, based on the level it was and I feel I reached a point where I saw that the more I couldn't cross a line because these guys were my brothers, if that makes sense. Because after those videos, the next day, Modu called me before I go, and my girlfriend really tapped my leg. See, my producer, that wants to speak to me. Now, Dumodu called him. <coughs> and me and Odumo. That he wanted spoke. to speak to you? Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Like I woke up, let's say after the videos. You know that? I don't know if you. That's watch. Diary of Chop Life Crew, isn't it? Yes. Ah uh, man. He's with Koro Koro, a lot of my songs. That guy is a baller. I played ball against him one time, dribbled me. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. We were, you know, like I had an issue. But I had to, I had an issue, but I had to realize that this nigga is still my brother. So said Dari called you. That's why you stopped. Okay. I woke up in the morning to my girlfriend, who did you drag in my leg that my producer is calling me. That Odumodu was calling. This is after we've done, me and him did videos. That Odumodu was calling the producer. So the producer speaks to me and he's like, Modu is all I him. I check my Twitter, Modu DM me. This is after, like I said, after the video. Because yeah. <clears throat> the night before, me, I wanted to kill Babao because of the video him. He said, I'm so many, bro. You wanted to kill him? Kill, K I L L. Because he wanted to kill me now. He threatened my life. Don't be waiting where you see. You don't see how for the video. Fine. If you see me, turn the other way. I thought you were playing with the killing part. Uh-uh. I, know. I know. You see the thing there? Eh? That shit was like... First of all, I'll say that that's my blood. People don't even know how close me yes. and him are. Or me and TZ. Uh, people don't even talk about TZ because I guess he's not... You know, he's not the artist, like you said. He's the artist the people, that people yeah. know. But, um, like I said, it was a long battle. 
on online and i'm not even in that kind of artist to artist problem it was a long battle online and it reached a point where we all had to discuss like not even discuss we all had to decide what are we because i feel um the night of the videos a line was crossed it was very deep because yeah. I, I spoke out initially because i felt used by some people and modu spoke out to defend these people but i feel a line was crossed i mean that line was crossed that was the end of everything because when that line was crossed so many people would i would have called to say oh, oh we have a problem all of them are calling me to say guy what are we going to do what do you want not even what are we going to do what do you want us to do and those are your niggas yes even in my house in did you estate so many people came you know at that point because they had been watching i don't know if you saw everything they had been watching what was going yeah, on yeah, yeah. and it became to, so big to that video and i feel like, like i said that was the end so many people came to my house and we were all speaking and that night i wanted to kill my own brother i wanted to kill him because he said he wanted to finish me so I was to say what to Man, bro, yeah. on, see, on on in the video he said like bro, bro, bro. if you see me turn the other way like in south south slang it means if I see you we are racking straight up. You understand? You understand? That's what and it means. Another thing is I've never been in that kind of situation oh, before yeah. to even know how to deal with that situation. So when I was in that situation, this one will be musical. This one is like you know we're going, we're going back and forth, so it's no time for track. You know, when when it's you know, not time for music. When, it's like if I see you straight up. I swear, cause I was speaking about something that happened to me. So when he did his video, I was I was brainwashing myself that on oh my bro, this guy wants you fucking dead. You know, he says he the dagger, me the killer, me the do all these things. That was how you processed. It. I'm telling you how I processed the hundred and ten percent, and I had people in, driving to my race, people who I won't call. My cousin Mikey, shout out, you don't even need to know these niggas, but people I won't call were calling me that they had to come. Don't worry, I had to come to your house. So I was literally, I was in a seat and so many niggas, I'm saying men, because this thing was going on for 10 days. I think this was the sixth day. Mm-hmm. I came at, at one of my closest niggas, like me and this guy, but we don't need to know the quarters of our lives, because I felt I was used, used like a sponge. By used, who though? By modus the people we sign them the people we 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 the, the final people that's what i'll say Fair you know with me and modu i've never spoken about at that time as an artist now is a different situation i've never done any interview about that situation no, you, yeah first time because i didn't want to do but we are me and modu i knew him before he scattered but when i saw that boy i knew he was a star and he also respected my music my talent and everything we hustled together we sweated together sweated together slept on in the same hotel in abuja abuja has a lot of hotels different beds but that's how close we are and i left the country one of my boys we were even closer than me and modu we had a little disagreements i can't i guess because of time i'm not going to go into it he ended up signing modu they wanted to sign me he ended up signing Modu. no problem but some things happened that g records native now okay native, native, yeah you know signing modu and so many things happened to me where i felt like oh even if i talk about this things, people don't go believe me hmm. but i was so hot to the point that i didn't want to do music again because i was tired of people who i know fucking with me that's why when i dropped this track with fino the first picture i dropped there i have some <laughs> fino is my blood like it's my audio but it's, like i have big respect for him the first picture i dropped with fino and they bow down to him because I cannot believe that he did that. Do you understand? Just like yeah. Bado. I cannot believe. But regardless, Modu was signed by, if not my best friend at the time. Like his son is born a day after me. And I was also hearing so much. You know, maybe then too they were hearing so much. We were hearing so much. But I, I had they to, wanted to sign you though. That's that, that's they did. Just they didn't want to sign me, bro. Like, mind you, I was, I was fighting with four people though. I only made up <laughs> I only made up with two people. <coughs> but I fight with four people. I know two people I have to do them good the same way they did me good. But there was Black Panther too. I have to tell you the whole story. I don't know how it's gonna be cut up. But mind you, we don't have any problem now. You know, yeah. while, while, that's me and my T Z and Odumo I don't yeah. have any problem with them. But there was in twenty twenty two, I think the only track that dropped for me was a feature with Aluna George. And the only reason why that track dropped was because I thought I was going to be on a native compilation album with Pasalu 
and the French artist MHD. MHD has a song with Whiskey. Passado, mm-hmm. I'm sure you guys know. Yeah. I have yeah. it on my album. If you're my closest friend, my brother, like I don't say brother, my this is my brother. Like we, me and him, we even they sleep on the same bed. We eat up for the same plates. We they do the same thing together. Why not tell me that you know you're changing the lineup of the song? Why do I have to find out when the song comes out? So that's the first problem. Mm. The second problem was I was meant to be on Black Panther 2, the movie Black Panther 2. I was meant to be on the soundtrack. I can literally, after this, I can even, if it need be, because this is just us talking, but yeah. Yeah. to the public eye, it might be way bigger than just yeah. us talking. Yeah. But I was meant to be on Black Panther 2, the film, soundtrack, right? And a week before the song came out, the person in charge of the soundtrack was the president of Native Records. Yeah. A week before the song comes out, first of all, I have a problem with one of the other members. Now, a week yeah. before the song comes out, he messages that, bro, you know, the song go. Like, I have everything here. We've signed things with Disney. Things, different things. Like, I wanted to drop my single after that song. You know, when you're an artist on the yeah, rise, on the all zone. these small, small things, you're looking at it like so big for you're you. You're waiting for it. A week before for that the, moment. Thank you. A week before the song comes out, it's like, Oh man, this song is not coming now. They want to change you to uh, what's this guy's name? Toby Mbigwe, the guy from Houston. You know? And me, you've seen the kind of person I am. Artistry is everything to me. This thing will have helped my talent and everything. That thing shut me down. Put me on a very dark path. Hmm. Where I had to call them out. And that's now what led to those videos between Modu and I. And like I said, when he did those videos, the nights of the first video, it was war. Because a lot of people behind me have been seeing his, his um, progression and how he progressed. And he knew the story between, you know, his label and I. So it was almost like they were just waiting. Let this guy just fuck up. You don't like him. You don't like his label because of what they've done to you. You don't talk. Just, you know. But let this guy just fuck up. I'm waiting for him. We want you guys to, you know. And when that thing happened, or more, nobody gave me. First of all, I've never been in that situation before where all the publicity was on, you. Was on me. Luckily for me, at least on Twitter, I had a lot of support mm-hmm. for my music, for different for story, things. For you know what I'm saying? So, when everything happened, Modu, I, I'm not gonna lie, he didn't talk at first. You know, he didn't speak. No, he didn't, he didn't speak at first. Mm-hmm. Then he spoke. But I feel he crossed so many boundaries. Mm-hmm. And when he crossed so many boundaries, like I said that night, I wanted to go to war. Me, I'm the kind of person if it's a fight, like as I want, even if it's boxing, like I like fighting, boxing, UFC, I will fight you if it's one on one. But the level he reached there, because when he did that video, I'm like, oh my, this guy don't join court, too. this guy don't join gang, this guy won't kill me. So even before I called the people where I know in that kind, because I'm, I'm a musician, the people where I call in that kind, you know, district or that kind of life, they called me. You understand? And that's one thing I had to tell Modu himself. But when you're at the top, you know how many people want you to fall down? Like God was trying to, like I was telling him, bro, people want me to be the person that will bring you down. Yep. Yeah, this boy sweated together. People like pitting people against you. Do, do you understand? And I'm like, okay, so that night when I slept, I was like, it's, it's up. I'm talking to my Niger boys. I called my cousin, I say, man, what dude, my niggas, they don't bam different things. I don't call them, say, um, niggas, we don't move on, um, moving on. Sorry, sorry, my niggas, we did it. This is where this body talk about. Maybe we enter. I'm telling you my truth. Maybe we enter the war where you want to fight. Maybe now, what you want to do? Well, I woke up to his call. Maybe 30, we spoke for like two hours. Maybe 30 minutes later, TZ called me. Oh, yeah, they tell all my people, please, guys, these guys don't Calm call down. me. Maybe do peace talk. Nobody want to do peace talk. What do you mean, do? This guy call you pig. This guy call you. Uh, we can't fire. We can't go to TZ. What do you mean? We go collect one of them. We go put her for boots. And bro, let me fuck you up. I don't. I'm not the kind of niggas where they war, where they all these kind of things. I really believe my niggas will put them in the boots. I know they will. And they beg, please. But we solve this thing. My music, me, I they do. I don't say if I'm the biggest nigga in the hood. That's not my dream. Uh, that's not my dream. Yeah. I left school because of this shit. This is my dream. Nobody wanted to listen to me. Everybody wants to fight. Me and these boys are talking every day about how we can try and, especially me, because if they have apologized to me, what do you want? To, I feel a lot of boys are in my court. A lot of my people, the world, are, these are the aftermath. But my people do even doing it. But the world are the aftermath. A lot of people wanted me to go at these niggas. And I, and I especially felt like people that will be talking to them will be talking to me. Mm-hmm. The same niggas that were talking to you. Between you're, not even the niggas. Not even the niggas. Just some. No, no. I'm saying the niggas where I call. Okay. Or call me. For the kind of video that was done, those are the kind of niggas you need to speak to. But I'm saying, just because 
I've known one of them in the quarters of my life. So we have the same friends. You guys will talk to me in my own name. Uh, oh, do you, yes, you did the right thing. Fight for us, do all these things. But you are with them. I see you people on Snap. Yeah. Do you understand? So basically, yeah. and as somebody has never been in that situation, you know, I just use my own life yeah. for, for circles. You don't know my trauma. You don't know how I feel about what them, these boys did to me. You're just coming to talk and all these things. So I'm like, like I said, I reached a line where it was like, I was trying to brainwash myself. I don't know these people. Fuck the Modu Modu. Fuck TZ. Fuck them. They don't know you. That they hate you. Fuck them. Let's go to war with them. I didn't even know at that time that this is good for entertainment. I can't even lie to you. I'm just like this is because it was pure personal. I'm like fuck them. All these two boys call me the next day because I also feel like the people sort of told them that what you people are doing is very wrong. Bro. You know. And when I spoke to Modu, it was like the same nigga that I used to sweat with. To today, that's the same boy I see. He might not, he does though. You know, when he talks about this situation, that's what he says. He will tell you that I'm his brother. You understand? Like, I, I saw him before he blew up. And when he came to that line of crossing, where we're like, okay, let's go for gang for gang. He wasn't even talking to, talking to me, gang for gang. He was talking by himself. But me, I had like at least 10 niggas that wanted his head. So when he's talking to me, and I'm listening to him the next day. I'm like, bro, I can't do this. I can't do this shit with this nigga. I used to sweat with this nigga. He's confessing so much to me, telling me so much. TZ is calling me, apologizing to me. I'm like, this thing better come. It's better it comes down. Any personal grievance I have, let all of us fight ourselves inside doors like brothers do. But outside, let it not affect the music. You know, when I saw they were apologetic, because I'm never going to attack, but I'll defend. When I saw they were apologetic, I'm like, Bro, do you na music where you want chase? You never said you go dagger anybody or you go shoot person or you go sh- whatever person. Stay on your path. So I had to do a, a video with them to show my own people that um, all these ones where you know they do. Better count yeah, the fuck down. This is my career. You know, if you kill this boy or you shoot at this boy, now my name will go there. I can't lie. At that time, I was not even thinking the way I'm thinking now. Now I have more of an entertainment view of all the whole things. But that time is a real life nigga. Thank you. At that time, is I've never been opportune to think like a celebrity or entertainment. Everything I have to think about, all of us, even my own people, is us real. Like I'm, we've never even been put on a gangster pedestal. But I'm saying like, it's just real life yeah. that somebody has come and abused you. Let's go. Hey, bro, I have to beg now that um, these people want. They didn't even want to listen to me. So it's better we do. You know, we thought that's me or do because we spoke a lot before we made peace and like when everybody saw we made peace the world so we spoke a lot so we were trying to make the best of this situation and then all the days the men there their moral compass of what it's well, you know if i had a compass of fuck it let's go to war i don't know these niggas hmm. but i, I know, know them i built something with both of them one to cut out my life once since like maybe 2018 you understand so it's like you said something about loyalty yeah I'm not the person that's going to carry bitterness and hate for a boy. Like, I'd rather slap the fuck out. You know, you guys don't even know if me and him sat as ourselves three hours. Did you? Yes! The day we made up, backhead, the mummy, the person that did the Miguel Tupac and Potable fight, he was there. Me and Odumo, I was telling him, bro, let's do this boxing fight. But guess what? Even him, I don't even believe bro, this gangster. Yeah, he's sweet, he's sweet. Well, show me the big color <laughs> where you get. I'll call my boy Wadu, but do go show you Shakabula. I'll call my brother Mikey, go show you Glock. But I have guns in America. Do you understand? But when it comes to it, he didn't want to fight. Because he, he, he cares more about what the people think. I care more about what the people think based on our brands, music. All this gangster, gangster, gangster. It's cool. You know, when you want to sell that shit. But when it comes to real life, I, I don't okay, think. I don't understand. So Big Kala is gone. Kalash what do you think Kala means? Kalashnikov, um, nigga. Come Kalashnikov. On. We're done. Come on, I, this is the fact. I thought that. Was, oh, okay. Cool. Come on. Now. What I'm saying is that in all these things, uh, real life comes to play. I, I was never even. I was never even giving them light or big color and all these things. But big is gone. I know niggas big will get Kabula gone. now. If I call what dude, it's literally killer. called big gun. Yeah. I'm supposed to know. I know niggas will get big color. I got big color for America. I think I'm talking about going go with my Glock, where my, my cousin give me. But bro, who boast about that in this country? Is that what you're talking about? I'm a leader of fucking men, not a leader of boys to be fighting. So I would rather put a do tell, tell him, bro, listen, nobody knows you for gangster. Nah, declarize picanto. Where they know you for. 
So I'm not going to be the one that's going to come and drag you down or tease you down. We build this shit together. You understand? So maybe work on something, maybe. And that's the same energy he had. And that's why I feel like all this is good for entertainment, you know, a big color, whatever. But when it comes to it, to it, he's, he, we're all men of the people. Are you guys cool now? Very cool. Very um, cool. Do you guys, do you feel like you guys have, an, have some similarities? 28, really? As a final question. Yes. for real. Well, we didn't talk about a lot of things. I'm are you trying. looking at your producers? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you for real? Answer, sharp, 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 sharp. I feel, sharp, yes, sharp. I feel yes, we have a lot of similarities, but we're not, it's okay. we're not the same. Like, he does his own thing, and guess what? We've been recording together to know that. Like, if one of us ever came out to say that, as in, this one sounds like this one, or sounds like that one, it, it would be an insult to both of us, because we you. know ourselves. But well, you I never hear. even said that. He knows. I never said that, but that's what I'm saying. The things about people in your ear, yeah. yes. people in your ear. Actually, a lot of niggas were in his ear. Mm. He can't lose his position. No, he's an insult to me. Do you understand? And if I lose my position, it's an insult to him. I hear you. Let me not talk about what me and him are bodily wise, but he's a star now, so he has to be a star. I have to be the nigga I am. You know, I wish him the best. We're going to work a lot of times. Unfortunately for me, I lost my composure to speak out even in the first place. That's not my kind of person. And when you roll in the dead, you have to really roll in the dead. Shout out portable. That's what he does. But it's not my way. It's not my way. That's not the kind of man I am. And there are men like me. So I'll be an example for those men. Sure. If, if, they, if they hate on the men, I, whatever I portray, it's cool. But I'll be an example for those men that are not that dirty. That want to be leaders. I want to be like Obama. Shala. If you watch Black Panther, I want to yeah. be like that man. That's I want to be clean. Not Shout out to you. It. Shout out mm. to you, pretty boy. Do you? I actually, I actually really like you, and I'm sure you know that already. I, 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 I think that you are different. I think you're special in the way that the first time I, I heard your music, I'm like, what's this? <laughs> like, there's so it much. And for someone who's always like, oh my God, I don't like aggressive music. Calm down. There's just something about you that I just like. I think you're really you're fashionable. I think you're cool. There's like, something about listening to the way here where I just like with this guy. I was just like, what the hell? This guy's pissing me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But when I go on social media and I see his aesthetic, I'm like, this is a yeah. you are so cool. It's 12 a.m. I'm gonna play that way tomorrow. Yeah, you're actually oh, so cool. Yes. I'm gonna over talk, but God. No. Yay. Yes, God. Yes, God. God. But thank you so much, Mr. Boy Dio. Mm. And I think that your song with Fino, shout out to Fino for being the OG that's the one. For collaborating with you on that song. I really hope that you go on to drop your body of work. When? When? Oh gosh, but the special grace of God. Do you have a title for <laughs> because it? Because I'll be, yeah, yeah, what is love? That's the deluxe of my last album. Then my album will be pretty pleased. Everything is already set in stone. What Let's is have love? It. Yeah. Right. Let's have it. Let's Amen. have it. Amen. And that's it for today on Zero Conditions. Brought to you Pod. by who? Brought to you by Shivas, Shivas. Regal. Do not forget to Shivas. subscribe to our YouTube up. channel at yeah. Zero Conditions. Follow us on Instagram. Well, Shivas has us talking. One jobless boy, if you caught me, please. Guy, I beg. Cost me well, look. I beg. Cost like, me well. Whoever they cut this, uh, cut this by superstars. Uh, I know they do podcasts. Please, this is the first time I'm telling my story. Cut me well, whichever camera. I don't realize that I know this properly. Cut me well. Cut me well. Please follow Pretty Boy Dio across all social media platforms. Go support his music. Amen. I think he's really cool. I like him. Please follow Temple also on social media. RSVP Temple. RSVP Temple. On social media. And it's a wrap on Zero Conditions. And shout out to our producers. We really didn't have to do this. Tolani, you guys know how Tolani is. Sorry. I love you guys. Yeah.